Hey everyone, and welcome back to Hogwarts Legacy. When we last left off, I think the last thing that we did was we went into the uh, Undercroft with, uh, what's his name? Sebastian? It's not Sebastian, is it? Maybe it is Sebastian. I forgot that dude's name. Anyways, I think his name's Sebastian. My boy Sebastian. Hopefully that's his name. Um, but we went into the Undercroft with him, and then that... His his fellow uh, Slytherin was very upset with us. But that room belonged to your sister, and I'll have you know that she is beside herself. Never mind that you could have died. No more broom racing for you, and I'd better not hear one more peep. Good death. What the? Well, that ended abruptly. Um, yeah, that that Slytherin guy had uh, found me. What was his name? Ominous something. I don't know. His name was Ominous. He had a very strange name. Uh, but that's the last thing I remember happening. Let's take a look at our quests. Figure out where we were. So we got the map chamber. That's for re returning to Fig. Ominous Gaunt. Thank you. And the other guy's name is Sebastian, right? Or am I totally forgetting his name? It starts with an S. I, I feel confident in that. Anyways. Uh, we have Sharp's assignment, uh, acquire and use a focus potion. I think I made one, didn't I? So I just have to use it, uh, and then we have to acquire Maxima and Aduras potions and use them simultaneously. It's Sebastian? I did remember. Okay, I don't know why I was doubting myself. Uh, and then we got Professor Garlic's assignment, acquire and use a Venomous Tentacula, and acquire and use a Mandrake on multiple enemies simultaneously. So I think I need to buy seeds for the Mandrake. I might have a Venomous Tentacula. I've, I've certainly picked up a bunch. Yeah, I got one right here. Okay, so we got one of those. Um, so we just need to make a mandrake for that particular quest. Uh, we still have the keys. We're halfway there. We've got that high level quest and we've got that treasure map that we never found. And it is cold in here. Let me turn on my space heater. I need some heat. I'm freezing. Okay, uh, I actually think I'm going to do the main quest. So we're going to go back to Fig. Now that Professor Fig has returned, I'm excited to show him the missing pages and the secret map chamber I found below the school. And look at that, we're actually, like, <laughs> getting... <laughs> we're not, like, absurdly above the level of the quest anymore. I'm only, like, double it. That's better than we've been, though. Do I go this way, or is this a loop? Handy resource indeed, your field guide. Yes, it goes this way. Hey Stefano, you caught up on the the uh the videos and you're here for a stream? Glad to have you. Welcome. And welcome to everyone else as well. Hope you're all having an awesome day. Uh, here's fixed classroom. I feel like there should be a something Rebellion. over here. But no. There is not. Fig, I have returned. Although you're probably not here. Probably have to wait till day. Oh. I was hoping to see you. There he is. You're back. Finally. Minister Spavin talks more than he listens, ranted on and on about rogue dragons, wouldn't listen to a word about goblins. Speaking of which... Listen, Professor, so much happened while you were away. Your friend, Mr. Ollivander, sent me an owl asking for help finding an heirloom wand that was stolen from him. He did, did he? And so I went to the owlery, like he said, and there were all these statues. What do you mean, statues? In the owlery? Yes which led me to a secret hideout where I found Richard Jackdaw's ghost. Who on earth is Richard Jackdaw? He was a student here long ago. Anyway, he told me about a secret cavern. I went there and right next to Jackdaw's skeleton, I found the missing pages. You found the pages? I did. And because Jackdaw had followed the map they contained, when I found the pages, I found the location on the map. Believe it or not, it's a room below Hogwarts. Why am I not surprised? Shall we? I was hoping you'd say that. Oh, and we'll need to bring the book. Where 
We're the back. room is called the Map Chamber, by the way. And a portrait of Percival Rackham awaits us there. Professor Rackham. I look forward to meeting him. How did this Jackdaw get the pages from the book? Evidently, Peeves stole them, and Jackdaw stole them from him. Oh, Peeves. Huh, I didn't see this chest before. Let me go to my other spell set. Oh wait, no, that's been changed. Let's see, we want this. Five hundred. Where are the two of you headed? No, don't tell me. I shall see you there. To think it was beneath us all this time. If only you were here to see this. Hello, Professor Rackham. We've placed the book on the pedestal as you asked. And this is my mentor, Professor Fig. How do you do, Professor Fig? And you, my young friend. See now why you needed to return with the book? I do. I also see why you refer to this room as the map chamber. That you have come this far tells me that you possess extraordinary magical ability. The potential and power of which will unlock should you prove yourself worthy. The location of each of four trials will, in time, appear on the map. Trials that will test you and give you access to invaluable knowledge. Trials that you must complete on your own. Do you recall the pensive memory you viewed in my vault in Gringotts? Uh, I'm trying to remember. It was him and some dude, like, locking it away, I think. Well, I'll say I don't recall it fully, and he can tell me. But I think it was him and some other dude, like, locking away some, like... Something. I do recall seeing the memory, but I don't remember all of the details. My friend Charles and I spoke of the port key and of trials we'd created for one who could see traces of ancient magic. Charles is another of the keepers, a designation we gave ourselves centuries ago in light of the knowledge that we have been bound to keep hidden. Until perhaps now. So the passage from your ruins to Gringotts Everything in the vault, the restricted section, finding this room, none of these was a trial. They were an important part of the journey, but they were not trials themselves. The fact that you have come this far, however, bodes well. 
The trials were designed to ensure that the power and knowledge we have kept secret for so long does not fall into the wrong hands. They will test your abilities, both innate and learned. But of equal importance, everything you witness as you complete the trials will inform what you choose to do with all that we share. You will need patience. The trials have much to teach you. It will take time. I'm afraid we don't have the luxury of time. We have waited this long, Professor Fig. Surely a few more. Respectfully, sir, while I do not know the secret you keep, I do know that our young friend here has seen traces. Traces of a powerful dark magic being wielded by goblin kind. And we encountered an uncommonly powerful goblin wielding such magic as we prepared to leave your vault at Gringotts. We may already be too late. This is grave news indeed. Young friend, do you trust Professor Fig? I do. Then, in the light of your considerable skill and all you have already accomplished, we shall begin. You will find the location of the first trial marked on the map below you. Whilst Professor Fig may assist you in locating the trials, they may be completed only by one with our ability. Shall we have a look? I know that tower. It's not far. You may have seen it yourself. Uh... Crap, I looked away for a second. <laughs> I only caught a very short glimpse of it. I'll just say it doesn't look familiar. I don't know. I don't think I have. Perhaps your young friend is not as well-traveled as you think. As your mentor, the least I can do is go ahead to make sure it is safe. Join me as soon as you can. Do you know anything about the tower? You said that you know that tower. What can you tell me about it? Not much, I'm afraid. I've passed it dozens of times. It's north of Hogsmeade. My recollection is that it seems abandoned. Clearly, however, the tower conceals more than meets the eye. I'll see you there. I'll find you at the tower as soon as I can. Until then, be careful and do not tell anyone where you're going. Maybe I can see the tower here. Oh, completed a main quest. Actually, I don't think I do know that tower. Level 21! Sweet. Revelio. Alright, so we can go meet Fig in the tower. Percival Rackham's trial, I need to meet Professor Fig outside the tower. It's time you learned Iglesias, the freezing spell. It is an efficient way to cool down a heated situation. But first, I will need you to complete a few tasks. Once you've done that, come and see me. Oh, really? Freezing spell could be useful. I don't have any ice-related things. Madame Kagawa's assignment one. Madame Kagawa has conjured a number of balloons around the Hogsmeade station and the Quidditch pitch. She wants me to use my broom to reach and pop them. Ah, oh, we can do that. All right, that's what we'll do. I've seen those balloons, too. What are you up to now? I could fast travel out, but I'll walk out. Maybe I'll see something new. Okay, well, maybe we won't, because this just leads to that dragon, and this is locked. And I think this is locked, too. Yeah, it's locked. I'm sorry, I'm sorry! Yeah, it was an accident! What? Uh, 
Revelio. What was that all about? It sounded like it was in here. Huh, not sure. Actually, I'm near that butterfly puzzle I never solved, but I still don't have a clue. In this room... Right, this is usually locked. Yep, it's still locked. And we got the courtyard. Alright, well, whatever. Let's pop some balloons. Rebellion. Let's see if I can see this tower he's talking about. So I think Hogsmeade's over there. I still don't see a tower. Huh. Not sure. Oh, the other one was at the Quidditch pitch. Oh, well, I'm kind of far from there. Where's this last balloon? Balloon, where are you? Hmm. It's not down here, is it? No. I guess it should not be hard to find a balloon. It's over here. Oh, there it is. Challenge unlocked. Pop balloons. All right, the Quidditch pitch is over there. All right, and uh, at some point, I need to figure out how these sundial things work, because I got one here, and then there was another in that broken tower near that hamlet. Have to figure that out. Is that one over there? I think I just saw one to the left. Yep, there it is. Brilliant. You've unlocked rewards. Our challenge is complete to pop balloons. What do we get for that? Exploration. Pop two sets of balloons while on your broom. We get the... Oh, night. Oh, we get a broom for it. Interesting. And if we do five more sets of balloons, we get another broom. This is the Night Dancer broom. So I think we get. We look at. I guess we look at brooms in collection. But how do I switch them? I guess I switch them here. Night Dancer broom, a nimble broom with an impressive style. I actually might want that. How do I switch my broom? Is that in gear? Ah, it's in, oh wait, unavailable. 
Weird. Okay, unavailable. I have a broom, but I can't use it. Oh, she's got a little office here. I didn't even know that. Hello. How did you get on with those tasks? I will read your letter. Dear Madame Kagawa, marvelous news that you will be joining the faculty at Hogwarts as our new flying instructor. I dare say our work together at Hogwarts will be less eventful than our time near Yokohama Harbor, though one never knows. I shall look forward to seeing you soon. If you have any questions in the meantime, please do not hesitate to send me an owl. Warm regards, Matilda Weasley. And then we also have this. Dear Madame Kagawa, I'm writing to do... Wait, wait, I'm writing to do with Professor Black's decision to cancel Quidditch. As you know, joining a professional Quidditch team is my utmost dream, and I believe my chances will now be ruined, or at least significantly thwarted. Professor Weasley insists that we must defer to the headmaster, and she encouraged me to practice on my own. I have devised some challenging trials for myself, but it's not at all the same as practicing on the pitch. Nothing is. Please, could I ask that you speak to the headmaster or to Professor Weasley? I shall be miserable my whole life if I can't play Quidditch properly for this entire year. Thank you, Professor. Imelda Reyes. Well, you're not even the best at the time trials. I want to hear it. Mediocre at best. Madam Kagawa, I completed the list of tasks you assigned. Wonderful. I trust you became more familiar with your broom through the process? I did. Yes, Professor. That's good to hear. Keep it up, and perhaps one day you'll have a spot on the Quidditch team. If Black ever permits Quidditch again. Well, with those tasks out of the way, let us get started. Glacius. Pay attention to your wand work. Glacius. Well done. I'd recommend that you practice your new spell here in my office before taking it out into the world. Okay. Let's see. Where is it? Oh, here it is. Glacius is a control spell. Freezes enemies, increasing the damage they take from follow-up attacks. That seems pretty good. Let's go ahead and sign it there. Oop. There you go. Catching on quickly. Alrighty. Easy quest. Although it's not like there's something in here. Oh, I'm... Well, I don't know what I'm hearing, but... Nothing to reveal. Okay, well, I... Suppose... That we'll just head over to the tower. I don't see anything else going on. To the tower. I still don't know what tower they're talking about. They said it's near Hogsmeade, but that seems to be in the Forbidden Forest. This Hosme's over here. So where is this tower? Oh, we got something over here. What is this? Revelio. Alahatsi Fudge. Made with the leaves of the Alahatsi tree, this fudge is a delightful confection that causes uncontrollable laughter. Our broom needs a turbo. It does actually have a turbo. You can, uh, oh, well, I may as well get this. I don't have any, uh, I don't have any more Mallow's leaf for the Merlin trial, so we'll have to wait on that. I know what that means. Merlin trial. Yes, but we can't do it. 
Alright, where is this supposed tower? It's way out here. Revelio. Well, I mean, since we're out. Wait, is that the Forbidden Forest? Yeah, isn't that the bandit camp I cleared out already? Why is it back? This is the Forbidden Forest, right? No? The Collector's Cave? Oh, well, I kind of feel like I might have to go there. Oh, that is the Forbidden Forest. Okay. So it's way out in the Forbidden Forest. There's actually a hamlet out there. Pit upon Ford. Okay. Let's see. So that is the bandit camp I did. Huh. Well, I'm going to explore some more out here. We haven't done a whole lot in the Forbidden Rebellion. Forest. And I like forbidden things. What is that? Oh, wait. No, that's the camp I did, right? I think. Or no, this is a different camp? This is a different camp, I think. Oh, it is a different camp. Or no, it's not. Wait. Or. Yes, it is. I did that one. This is a different one. Okay, let's go do this one. I'll never get lost, me. Always got me weeks about me. Who finds yourself roaming the land? <laughs> My and Bookwood and no one else. <laughs> let's go back to this set. Although, I guess I should try. The Glace. Glacius one. <laughs> Try it in combat. Alright, I'm ready. The fog Hello! Confringo! <laughs> oh, the, the impact made her uh, take a bunch of damage. Fight for me! Oh, she just summoned a bunch of freaking zombies. All right, I gotta use a venomous tentacula. Let me do that. Oh, crap! To your knees, Stupid skeleton, get away from me! Ah! Oh crap! Alright, you know what? I'm sick of her. I'm sick of you. I'm just late. Alright, wasn't exactly smooth, but I got through it. Wait till Sebastian hears about this. An ash winder. Red plaid garb, leaping toadstools. Stench of the dead. Wigan, Wigan Wild Potion. Nice. Got a new one. Nope. Collection updated. We got Ancient Magic Focus 3. Check that out in a second. Revelio. Hearing these weird like whisper sounds. All right, well I don't know. Let's go check this out. Oh, that's why I came in. Or, or is it? No, this huh. is something different. There's a Merlin trial over here. All right, anyways, what was that uh, trade I picked up? Oh, we also got this. This is... Ancient Magic Focus 3, significantly increased ancient magic meter fill rate. That sounds pretty good. And here we have another episode of Last of the Kleptomaniac. Yes. That is every every episode.
I'm nothing if not consistent. Uh, what's that? Oh, that's Jaktos Tomb. Okay. But apparently there's a secret over here? Oh, it's one of these, uh, Whirlpool secrets. I don't know about you, but I am not going to be <laughs> in real life diving into just random Whirlpools and hoping for the best. Oh, it'll be fine. I probably won't drown. Now what? Oh, uh, maybe I can remove that? I think I can remove that. Let's see. Let's switch this to... Evanesco. Oh, wait, no, that's specifically the room of requirement. So that wouldn't apply here. I better shoot it. Well, maybe it works? It says the rumor requirement, though. I'll give it a shot. Nope. Hmm. Ah, uh, maybe I just, uh, levitate it. Oh, hold on. Where is it? Switch! Uh, let's actually put, I, you know, I don't know if I like this glacial one in combat. Not that I gave it a fair shake. But anyways, let's just swap this to Leviosa. Leviosa. Nope. Accio? Accio. No. Confrango? Expelliarmus. Oh, that's not Expelliarmus. Or that's not Confrango. This is Confrango. Confrango. No. Oh. All right. I would not have guessed that. I would think if I couldn't pull it, I couldn't blast it apart. But I don't know. Maybe I'm putting too much stock in the pool. Green striped gloves. Guess that's it. I guess that's it. Did it say complete though? Because it usually does. I feel like it's a pretty lame treasure. There's gotta be more. Right? No? I guess that's it. Revelio. Guess that's it. ready to learn Arresto Momentum, the slowing charm. It allows you to freeze objects or people in midair. Simply complete a few tasks and then come and see me. Hmm, okay. Let's see. Practice flying near the spires, practice flying near Keenbridge Tower. Madame Kagawa wants me to practice flying on my broom near Keenbridge Tower along the water to the south of Hogwarts. She also wants me to fly around the spires in the mountains to the southwest. All right, we can do that. I don't mind getting uh, a little sidetracked. And actually, I didn't look at some new stuff here. We got gloves. They're locked. Not high enough level. I'm not cool enough. Okay. Oh, but now I can finally change my broom. I guess. You know, that's not bad. We might be able to work around this. A little casual tie out look. I don't know. We might try it. Let me go back to this. Th Wait. Wait. Why am I not wearing this? I don't know. Let me put that on. Oh, I think I just had the wrong thing slotted. But, anyways. Let's see. Go with that vest, maybe, and maybe ditch the cloak. I don't know. Kind of looks pretty good with that. Oh, 
that one I put on? Man, some of these outfits I would never wear. What about no cloak? Eh, never mind. Now I don't like it as much. What is that? That's a weird look. Yeah, never mind. I've changed my mind. I'm going back to the school robe. I don't like it. I don't like it. We're going back to... Where is it? Suave. Pep. And then inventory, we have the letters. Okay. Bandits, eh? I might just have to say hello. When, done here, I'm going straight when you have a cloak like that, who can blame a girl for swearing? Hello. Protego. Oh, here. Still alive. Oh, he left. Oh, you cheater. I got some of that too. How do you like that? Oh, well, that that's just out. the biggest. <laughs> Nobody will believe I defeated a Nashwinder by myself. Alright, I forgot to look at my broom. Now that it's letting me change. Let's see here. So, we have the Night Dancer broom, a nimble broom with an impressive style. Kind of like it. Let's see. That or that. Yeah, I'll switch. It's kind of cool. <laughs> Wait, what's this play? Revelio. There's something up there. Alright, I'll check that out in a second. There's that platform thing up there. What the heck is this? Challenge unlock landing platform? I found the landing platform, whatever the heck this is. Uh, maybe the challenge tells me what these are. I have no idea. Landing platforms. I don't know. Obviously broomelated, I mean, I guess it's just something that you can see from a distance and land with your broom on. I don't really see what value that holds, but whatever. Yeah, strange. This kind of looks like it might be something up here. Seems a little suspicious. What is this place? It's cool looking, whatever it is. Jobbernol? Oh, oh, never mind. Jobbernols are the Revenue. creatures. So this is another place where I could go uh, get pets or whatever. Presumably for the rumor requirement. I don't think I've gotten to that part yet. Man, these Merlin trials are everywhere. Oh, is that another spot for Jobbernals? 
Oh, look, that that uh, dungeon I went to still is not showing completed, so I did miss something there. I don't know what. Rapscallion Gob. Rebellion. I guess the birds aren't here. Not sure. Yeah, I don't know. So peaceful. Rebellion. Oh, there's more of those balloons. What if I should pop them? I guess I may as well. Is this where I think that it is? Yeah, there's that. Puzzle down there. Okay, I know where I am. I know where I am. Yeah, I'm gonna pop these balloons. Can I grow malice weed? I can. I could buy some, but I don't know. I'll find some. And I'll grow some. I actually, um, what I do really want to do, though, is go to Hogsmeade. I want to buy a, a better um, table. For growing plants and uh, brewing, I can definitely afford the best. Then I also need to get uh, mandrake seeds, I think. Rebellion. How am I doing on uh, gear slots? Probably eating through them. I have decided to sell my legendary gear. Oh, I'm almost full. I got two gear slots left. Yeah, so we'll go to Hogsmeade and we'll get some stuff while we're there. Um, after I explore a little bit more. What's this? A jobbernole. A jobbernole is a small speckled bluebird which never makes any sound until the moment of its death. Oh wow. I just ruined some poor kid's birthday. Sorry. If you put balloons up there, I will pop them. Oh! Dog bogs! I need these! I don't remember what I need them for, but I need these. Dugbog, your time has come! You ain't going underground. Oh wow, he has a lot of health. What the heck? Oh my god! Dugbogs are mean! I'm stuck! I didn't mean it, Dugbog! Yes, I did. Oh god! That's mean. <laughs> the heck? This thing is strong. There we go. Ancient magic destroys him, though. Dude, what is with this thing? So much health. All right, apparently, Accio doesn't even work. Alright, what was the deal? I think- Oh, I think I can do a- Pull his tongue out, or something like that. I'll give it a shot. No, that didn't work. I don't know. Whatever, we'll use ancient magic, because that's apparently the only thing that's gonna do the job. Boom! Accio when the tongue is out? I tried that. We'll look at the beast thing. But that, yeah, I, I tried it. It didn't work. Oh, why those beasts are so strong, though? Hello. Hi? Okay. Yeah, let me look at the, the monster thingy. Uh, here. Dugbog. Where are you? Dugbog. 
here we go. When its mouth is wide open, yeah, Levioso is what you have to use. Yep. Okay. Tip for next time. Oh, I threw my uh, venomous. Th that was mine. Oops. Even now. Right, I got a dug bog tongue. I needed that for something. I think it was for a Duris potion, maybe. Obviously, dug bogs. I'm on it. Ornate juniper gloves. Alright, I have space for one more piece of gear and I'll probably be in here. Revelio. Did I get both the dug bogs? I think I did. Only one gave me a tongue. Oh, wait. Two gave me a tongue. Alright, fantastic. Ashwinder eggs. Confringo. This looks intriguing. Poacher coach, and that is all of my space. To Hogsmeade. One eight juniper gloves. How do they look? Eh, not bad, but they're not as cool as those. Oh. Oh, well now we're talking. Finally, something that is a little interesting. All right. Let's see, maybe I can do something with this look. Maybe we can make this work. Where'd it go? Is it this one? There it is. Okay, so we don't want to be dressed up nice for this one, necessarily. <laughs> I just wandered in from the forest. That's actually not bad. Yeah, I only really have one thing that works with this, it would appear. Well, that kind of works, actually. Maybe. Alright, so it's either that or this. I think this works a little bit better. I'm going to go with that. And then... What hat? Maybe one of those hats I wouldn't have normally worn. Nomad hat? Maybe. <laughs> Could go with the dark flat cap. What? Yeah. One of those. Actually, this hat kind of works with it a little bit. Let me see. Eh, it's okay. Definitely not that one. I don't know. I, I kind of... I still like this hat a lot. This is my favorite hat. And it works well. I think I'm going to go back to this hat. I like this hat. Yeah, there we go. That's my look. 
I like it. Keep this look for a while. Alright, what do we got in here? We got the Dugbog Tongue, organ gathered from the mouths of Dugbogs. This ingredient is used in the Focus Potion. And ingredients. Yeah. Alright, I think we're good. Now we got a new challenge. Combat. Oh, defeat dug bugs. Alright, so we need three more dug bugs. And that went off the map, so we're good. Okay, let's, uh... Actually, hold on, let me go, go look at it. Oh yeah, I can dig it. I like it. Uh, let me get a better light, though. Yeah, I don't... I don't mind that. I'm kind of... Part of me wants to go back to the other style. But I don't mind it at all. Alright, uh... Let's see. Hogwarts map. Or no, not Hogwarts. Hogsmeade. That's what I meant. Oh! <laughs> I hope it saved all those changes I made. This game crashes from time to time. Hopefully it saved for me. I look like a scarecrow. <laughs> I'll take it. That does not look like a scarecrow. Come on. Man. Oh, good. <laughs> Literally right where I was. Oh, good. oh, but the dog bogs are back. We'll deal with them later. Uh, map. Hogsmeade. Here. Second crash? Uh, might even be more than that. I can't remember. Hogsmeade, here I come. I've crashed a little bit. Actually, hold on. I hate... Let me look one more time at that other option in terms of my vest. See, it was like that. I don't know. They're both not quite right. I'm gonna stick with this. I'm hoping I can find something that matches just a little bit better. I question Revelio. There it is. Seridwin's Precarious Cauldrons. This precariously stacked set of cauldrons outside Seridwin's advertises the shop's wares. It should be noted that stacking cauldrons in this fashion, while admittedly eye-catching, is ill-advised for anyone wishing to brew a potion of any intended effect. Have I actually been in here? I don't know if I have. Oh, there's a book back, page back there I could get. Oh, I totally haven't been in here. Revelio. I totally have not been back here. Alright, and we're definitely gonna go get that page. Oh, wait. No, apparently I have been in here because I looted that chest. So never mind. There was a chest. Here it is. Oh, but I shouldn't. Well, I might just have. Money. Okay. Needs to be a bigger chest. Have items in it. Let's go sell. Hello there. Come on in. Hello there. All right. Sell. So, I'm just gonna sell everything. Uh, so even my fancy legendary items. It's money. Oh, 
Okay. And let's see. There was some stuff I wanted here. I think. Hopping pot spellcraft? Oh, these are just different things for the uh, room requirement. But I actually want these. So, potting table with a large pot spellcraft. Unlocks the ability to conjure a table with a large pot. Use its pot to grow all sorts of useful magic. I thought there was one with two, though. Oh, two large pots. Well, there you go. And then potting table with a medium pot spellcraft. Two medium pot spellcrafts. Well, it seems like I should get, get the large one. Seems like I should go big. Yeah, I'm just gonna go big. Go Nothing big or go like home. Just the right thing, is there? And then potion station, T-shaped potion station, medium potions. Oh, that has five small. Ah, oh, well, crap. Maybe I want the five. Oh well, we got a couple of large ones. Uh, so what's the difference here? Unlocks the ability to conjure a medium potion station, perfectly suited all your potion burning needs. Or a T-shaped one. Unlocks the ability to conjure a T-shaped potion station. This one's more expensive for some reason? I don't know what these do, so let's just get the medium one. Nothing like finding just the right thing, is there? All right. That's been Let me know money. if there's anything else I can do to help. Okay. So now, I guess we'll just sleep. Oh wait, no, I forgot. I need to get mandrake seeds, and then I should probably go back to the castle and start the process. I think certain plants will only grow on the small ones, though. Interesting. Well, I guess we'll find out. We can always come back. Uh, and actually, I wonder if there's anything stopping me from having multiple stations. Hello there. In the market for Probably potions, not. are we? What can I do for you today? All right. I need. Oh no, these are recipes. Where? Did... Oh, I go to the uh, the magic neep. I hope to see you again. Farewell for now. The magic neep. Let me guess. You're after something fresh. Fluxweed. Oh, I need fluxweed, I think. I'm gonna purchase that. Now, fluxweed you let seed. Me know if there's anything else I can help you with. And it seems smart to have some mallow sweet seed. But interestingly enough. I don't have mandrakes. I wonder how I make them. Not sure. No one can say I don't keep a stack shelf. Um. Anyways, let's go to Hogwarts. We'll go to the room of requirement. Back to this. I don't want Dittany anymore. Empty the pot. I guess we'll make Mallow sweet. Oh wait, Mandrake. Oh, it's purchased from Dogweed and Death Cab. Where is that again? I don't know if I've been there. Alright, we'll we'll make some Mallow sweet. Potions. We can make a Duris. We can make Maxima. Oh, I still need a Fluxweed. Wait, didn't I buy Fluxweed? Maybe the Fluxweed can't be bought, uh, made in this one? 
All right, well, let's summon one of those. Uh, the other uh, potting table I got. Let's see. Conjuration. Potions. Oh, wait, no, not potions. Herbology. We want... Wait. Don't I have one with the... Small pot, small pot, small pot. I thought I bought one with a large pot. Plus it's here? Oh, here we go. Large potting tables. All right, we'll go with uh, botanical. Actually, I think this was eclectic I had over here. Yeah, that doesn't fit. I'm gonna have to rearrange some stuff to make this work. Is this right though? I don't know if the large is gonna do it for me. I think I'm just gonna replace that with a large table. I'll have to move that furniture. So I want, no, nope, no, nope, nope. yes, I want, is it altering or is it Evanesco? I think it's Evanesco. Yeah, here we go. I want Evanesco. This object is currently, oh, I gotta, I gotta empty it first. Hopefully I didn't kill my seeds. No, we're good. I have them forever. There we go. Evanesco! <laughs> I think I I want a, a new spell set just to have somewhere to put all these utility things. <laughs> Alright, so let's see what can be done with the large station. The scientific one. Is a big table. <laughs> Can I even get to my uh, rug anymore? Uh oh. Crap, I think this is gonna kill the table. Wait, no, wrong button! Ah! Evanesco. There we go. Alright, yeah, I gotta. Do that order. Okay. I'm learning. I'm learning. Okay. Big old potting table. Here. That'll work. And then I want that rug. What the heck? Oh, jeez, that made it freaking huge. Hmm. All right, I'll just put it in front. Come on. Nope. 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 Right there. Okay. Much better. Okay. What can I plant? Didney, mallow sweet, and flux weed. Perfect. I'll get some mallow sweet going. And then here. Flux sweet. Perfect. Okay. Uh, yeah, these seem a little over the top. I probably didn't need the large one, but whatever. It's fine. Nothing to worry about. All right, so then once we get all that going. Then I can make my focus potion and use that. And then I just need a Maxima and a Nidurus at the same time, which I have all of the stuff for. So I guess I should make one of each of these. Let me see my tools here. I've already got a Durus, so we're good there. And I already have Maxima. 
So I just need to use those together, and then that will be done. Okay. That'll work. And we're done here. Let's yeah, let's just travel outside. Or maybe I'll just go... Which way do I need to go again? I'm still not a huge fan of the... Hogwarts map. When do I get to go on the... Oh, here we go. Yeah, let's go to the flying class lawn. Perfect. doing changes there okay let's go uh so we are still working on this this way revelio Secret over there near some spider webs. Some mallow sweet. Another secret over there. And a secret cave? Is that what that is? Got some bandit camps. We got some stuff to do. Oh, but. First, balloons. Oh. There we go. Okay, so we finish that. Rebellion. I am curious about that. Looks like we're gonna have to fight through the spiders. Yeah, for sure. Okay, well at least we can get that one thing done for using Maxima and Enduris at the same time. So let's go ahead. Actually, let me wait for a harder fight. A couple spiders isn't gonna do it. May as well get an advantage on a harder fight. Oh, who's after me? Well, you know what? This, these things are kind of a pain in the butt, so let's just do it. Let's see. Adoras Potion. And Maxima. Alright, sharp assignment is done. Let's do some damage. Got my ancient magic, but it's almost dead. So I don't need to. Right, I got. I need something to throw this thing. Here we go. Finally. Oh hi! Oh, he like burst into additional spiders. I think. Confringo. Confringo. 
<laughs> oh, wait, is there? Another? Oh, there's another matriarch. Rude. Where are we coming from? I, I don't know. I don't like Glacius very much. In fact, I'm going to switch it. If it lets me. In fact, the Leviosa. I like that better. No! No! Oh, that doesn't work on it. Right, I need some ancient magic. Give me this. Give me this. Goodbye. Oh no! <laughs> no, not you! That's not what I wanted! Alright, I think I need to ma make some more uh, damage focused loadouts. I got too much utility. Let's see. Let's change this up. Let's go. Let's see. Maybe we go with Incendio. And then. I still want Accio, because that's useful. Ah, screw it. Maybe we do go Glacius, although I'm not a big fan of it. But let's me spell cast more. Incendio. Oh, Incendio puts them on their back. I like that. Get that rock. Ugh. Shame you're so foul. Oh, is that one of those landing platforms? Yeah, I, I need to hit that up after this. this. Looks like I need something or I just cast on it? Incendio. No, looks like I need something. But where do I get this something? Hmm. Maybe it's over here. A venomous hatchling, that's new. That's... Oh, that is what I needed. Hey, hey, stop it! Stop doing that. That right, fire is definitely the way to go with them. Alright, I need this. It is activated with fire, apparently. Whoa, what the? Oh, what? Uh-oh. I seem to have broken it? Nope. Okay. It's happy now. It's happy now. Huh? 
This looks intriguing. Rebellion. Wait, was that there the whole time? Oh, I had to reveal it. Okay. Wait. Oh, after you. Oh, after you walk through it, then it's there. It's kind of nifty. Solar protection spectacles. All right. Ugh. Let's go hit that landing platform over here. I still don't quite understand the point of these, but I know what they look like at least. I'm not even gonna bother with those eggs. I think I have plenty. Challenge complete. All right, we have some gear. New glasses here that we can't see. We need them identified. And then we got a collection. Oh, new enemy. That was the Thornback Ambusher. These spiders try to keep as far away as possible and shoot webs to incapacitate their prey. While they are airborne, they are un or their unprotected bellies are exposed, making them vulnerable to follow-up damage. We got the uh, Venomous Scurrier. When these spiders begin to burrow, Flipendo will rip them out of the ground, dealing massive damage. Its venomous attacks will poison the target, dealing damage over time, but Wigan Weld Potion will stop the poison from dealing further damage, allowing you to heal. We got a new location. Right there. And we got a new conjuration. We bought these two tables. And then we got a new ingredient. Oh, Fluxweed. A tall plant that produces stems used in the Focus Potion. Fluxweed seeds can be purchased from the Magic Neat. Must be grown in large pots. So I did need the large pot. And Malosweet. A colorful plant that produces the leaves consumed in Merlin Trials. Malosweet seeds can be purchased from the Magic Neat. Can be grown in pots of any size. So I, I do need a variety, apparently. Then we got our challenge. That was... This, we get the Quidditch captain's uniform. I don't see myself using this, but we'll see. Let's see how it looks. You never know. Uh, why am I not seeing it? Is it this one? No. Oh, here it is. <laughs> no. Back to this. Okay. Alrighty. Rebellion. Got another secret down there. Well, that's close. Let's do this one. It's a Spidey. I will say hello. Hello, Spidey. Yeah, I love flipping them on the back like that. It doesn't help it. Oh, crap. Uh-oh. I hit the wrong button. And I paid for it. Ow. Flip him. Dead Spidey. Oh, oh, God. Oh, that's such an awesome combo. I love that. I love that. Oh, challenge complete. Complete dueling feats. What do we get for that challenge? This one? No. This one, this one? No. Down here. We get the officer's hat. And next we get the Halloween pumpkin mask for 20 more dueling feats. The collections has something new. Officer's hat. Uh, officer's hat for authoritative fighters earned by completing dueling feats. And then we'll take a look at it. It is here. New. 
That would be enough. I should investigate. Oh, we got enemies in here. Deflect the hatchling? Oh, okay. We can do that. Or not. <laughs> no? There you go. Alright. Not my fault you're a deadly great spider. Great. Hey, he's okay. Oh. What? Incendio. Hello. Golden snitch scarf. Peanut butter whiskey? That sounds horrible. <laughs> Is it good? Do you like it? Peanut butter whiskey. Revelio. Hey, Caraman. How am I doing? I'm doing good. How you doing? What's this? Some sort of cave. Well, let's check it out. Oh, levitate a dog bog by its tongue. We can do that. But first, smash. Oh, you want some of this? Oh, crap. Oh, man, these dog bogs are nasty. Oh, too slow. Boom. Nah, that doesn't do much. Oh my god! Alright, you know what? Screw the levitate. I don't think it's worth the uh, the trouble. Let's just go to damage. Oh, jeez! Dude, why are these dog bugs so ridiculous? Maybe it is worth the trouble, I don't know. Right, let me try going back to it. Alright, I'm ready. No! Oh! <laughs> Too slow. I don't know, it just doesn't really seem worth the trouble. Especially since, oh, geez, yeah, it's not worth it. It just gets me killed because it's just dumb. <laughs> no, thank you. It may, I, I'll do it once at some point just for funsies, but not worth it. Not remotely worth it. All right, here we go. Incendio. Ah. Incendio. Confringo. Incendio. Yeah, this is so much better just focusing on hitting him. Incendio. Not just focusing on hitting them, but building the uh, ancient Incendio. magic meter. Because that's how we do real damage. I don't know what it is. Some of these enemies are just so tough. Like, Incendio. you pretty much need the ancient magic. Oh, there's another? Hey, he's smaller. Oh my god, there's a whole swarm of them. That's not cool. Oh, jeez. Use that. Oh my 
God, I hate these things. I'm the worst. Where'd you guys come from? I don't understand. Everything was cool. Ah, oh, jeez. You have entirely too much health. My God. What? Oh, really? That got me? That's lame. I'll try Leviosa one more time, but I don't know. I'm not sold. I hate these enemies. These are the worst. They don't take any freaking damage. Alright, Leviosa, come on. Be good. What? It didn't even work! Oh my god, why? It was, I was staring right at him. He's about to stick his tongue out. I hit him with Levios and nothing. What the heck? Oh my god. I'm stuck. I'm stuck! <laughs> no! Yeah, it doesn't. It just gets me hit. What is the point? What is the point? I hate it. Oh my god. <laughs> ah, I hate these stupid enemies. Why do they have so much health? They're like... I don't know. I feel like they're bugged. None of the other enemies have even remotely close to this much health. They're the same level as me, so it's not like it's a level issue. Like, I don't know what the heck is going on. They just have so much freaking health. Not to mention, they hit really hard. <laughs> Yep, it, it's so pointless to try that. Screw Levio, so I'm not doing it. I'll just use it. Oh, no, I can't use it on them normally. So I have to do it on their tongue where it doesn't take any effect. Incendio. Right, this should good for you. Ah. Oh my god, why? I hate these enemies. Magic resistant? Well then give me a sword, give me anything. Give me a stick to hit them with. They're just tanky? Well, I mean they're just not fun to fight. I yeah. Uh, I understand tanky enemies, but these just absorb everything you throw at them. It's so boring to fight them. It's just obnoxious. Like, look how little damage that did. Honestly, I think the only way to do it is just get combos and get ancient magic. I, I, anything else is just a waste of time. Ugh. Just focus on not getting hit and building ancient magic meter. I think that's really all I can do. And of course I get hit. Incendio. 
Can bring us. Don't want to use it there because he. Oh, he's got more health. I think the trolls were easier than this. I agree. And at least it makes the sense for the trolls to have that kind of health. Like these dudes having this much health is ridiculous. Like why? They're just little frog dudes. Why are they so strong? I'm pretty sure they hit as hard as the freaking frog or uh, the troll. You're so boring to fight. Yes, more ancient magic meter. This is the way. No, oh, you ruined my combo, you jerk. Oh my god. Oh, I thought I died. I'm okay. Incendio. Him. Kaboom! Even the ancient magic does so little. Incendio. Oh my god, he got me. Incendio. Glacius actually got me in trouble there. Maybe we don't use it. So it delayed Incendio. his attack, but then he still attacked me once he got out of it. So it kind of got me in trouble. Oh, jeez. Oh, can't use that. Are you, are you serious? No! Oh, that is horrible. The last one. Yeah, these are terribly designed enemies. It, unless that, like, Leviosa thing actually is beneficial in, like, a major way. Like, they just instantly die. These enemies are terrible. Wait, that's straight up killing? No, he's still killing. Almost, though. Almost a one shot. Leviosa. Incendium. Yeah, it's if you try to get the tongue while it's coming out, you get hit. So it's like when when can I actually pull it? Because if I try to pull it, he hits me. And if I dodge, then I am too slow and I can't pull it. So, like, when is this magical period when I'm apparently supposed to pull his tongue? Right. See? Oh, oh, it finally worked. Oh my god, that did nothing. What was the point of that? It was pointless. Oh my god, I was expecting like half his health to be gone. It's like, oh here, you get like two seconds of him being incapacitated at most. Incendio. Absolutely pointless. I got a couple of critical hits. Incendio. Incendio. I feel like I'm doing something wrong, but I don't think I am. I think these are just this dumb. Oh, damn it. Yeah, I got myself killed.
Okay, so yeah, that's that's very disappointing. There's no like as far as I can tell, there's no good way to fight these things. You just have to like stay alive through their five billion HP. Which means I should get some more damage. Actually I want mm, I was gonna say I wonder what happens if you try What happens if you do Expelliarmus? Disarms wands and weapons. Oh, also deals damage to enemies even if they don't have a weapon. All right, well, more damage. Damage is the way to go, apparently. Throw strategy out the window. It's damage. Incendio. Confringo. Expelliarmus. Ah, oh my God, that attack is so fast. Confringo, Expelliarmus. Oh. Uh, yeah. Expelliarmus is a little slow. It's getting me stuck in animation, so let's not do that. Do I have any potions to increase your damage, or at least your defense? I mean, it doesn't matter when you are doing so little. It's like, oh, let me turn this five minute fight into four minutes and 40 seconds. <laughs> I mean, it technically helps, but not really. Uh, I might just stick with this. Although Glacius does get me into trouble at times. I don't know if I want to be using it, we'll see. Incendio. Ah. I'm kind of wondering if I should just be focusing on auto it. Oh my god. These these enemies are so frustrating. This is so dumb. Can you stun them with the shield bubble? Only if they do that tongue attack and then I don't even know if it would work. But they do a lot of unblockables so you'll get stuck. Incendio. I, I can Protego that yeah, it doesn't do anything. Like that, nothing does anything. I guess it incapacitates them for a while. That's actually pretty good. <laughs> yeah, that's that's actually really disappointing. The uh the like actual like main mechanic of ripping their tongue does far less than just a simple parry. In fact, he took a pretty nasty uh, critical hit there after too. Oh, I should have stopped that. Ah. Oh, why did my wigan wall work? There goes. Oh. Well, it took a while, but I finally found something in this game that I hate. This is horrible. This is absolutely horrible. Ah, jeez. These frogs are way overpowered. They sure are. Yeah, I, I at first thought like, oh, maybe it's my level. I am their level. They are the same level as me. I have fought enemies that were above my level, specifically in the uh, in the uh, Dark Arts thingy. And that, like, I knew I was... Like, those enemies weren't dying, and that felt reasonable, because, like, all right, I really shouldn't be here. But these dudes are my level. These And every single one I fought has been horrible. Like, they just do not die. 
So it has nothing to do with my level. Yeah, see that that's, that's really dumb. The uh, the uh, the parry is far more valuable than the actual mechanic. Because the parry sets them up for a big critical and it stuns them. I like that. Oh my god. <laughs> oh my god, why? Time to master Levioso? No, it's pointless. Absolutely pointless. Glacier. I, I don't understand, like, all the other enemies are fine, what, why, like, these ones in particular, they just, like, they put the intern on this? I don't understand. Is this the intern's job? Uh, yeah, just make some frogs for us, it'll be fine. Incendium. We'll kill these frogs and then hopefully never see them ever again in this whole entire game that would make me happy I would be so glad to never see these dumb frogs again Confringo. Yeah, that is shockingly better than the actual mechanic. Anytime I get an opportunity, I gotta do that and then follow up. Cause look at that, crit for 149. Every time. Incendium. Confringo. Incendio. Protego. Stupid one. Oh, you jerk. Where'd you come from? Incendium. 
Incendio. Confringo. Potato. Stupid one. Incendio. Oh, pump button. Confringo. Oh, I, I don't know what I was doing there. I completely hit the wrong button. <laughs> it's like I thought I was playing God of the War for some reason. I hit uh, L1. Incendio. Glacius. Protego. Stupid. Yeah. Incendio. Confringo. Stupid one. Incendio. Confringo. Even one on one there. Glacius. Confringo. Incendio. Yay! <laughs> Fine, like. Never again. I never want to see another Doug Bog for the rest of this game. There's a trick? Yes, please tell me. And if you're talking about the tongue, that didn't do anything. That tongue thing did nothing. What is, what is your amazing trick? Revelio. Oh no! Oh, did I? Well, I came here for nothing. Well, all this was was to demonstrate how dumb the dug bugs are. I did not. I thought it was a secret cave, and it turns out it was uh, just a freaking hideout, I think. Yep, yeah, it's a dug bog lair. Ugh, I didn't even have to come here. Oh well. Levioso to expung, expose their tongue, and then wait a second, and then, well, I don't have Defendo, whatever that is. Well, that didn't say that. I mean, the fact that they made an enemy around a single, like, duo, like, basically, they made an enemy that's absolutely terrible unless you do these exact two things, that's horrible design. I don't know what they were thinking. Anyways, we defeated five dug bogs, so we got the amphibial protection one trait. Absolutely terrible design. I am disappointed in them. Yeah, that is that is the first thing in this game that I I feel is objectively terrible design. Okay, I remember this camp. Wait, I thought I did. Is that not the camp I cleared out? No, it's totally the camp I cleared out. But it's back. Wait, what? I think there's a spell called Flipendo that flips them on their backs and the bellies take critical hits. I mean, maybe. I still, I still feel like it's terrible. It's, it's one thing to have, you know, ways to expose them to make them weaker, but when you don't use those, they take a year to kill. I just feel terrible. But who knows? Maybe with the other spell, they like actually die at a reasonable rate. No, uh, Lev uh, Accio doesn't work on them. Accio does exactly what you would think it would do, and it brings them to you. So Accio doesn't do anything special. It does not flip them. I can confirm that. Uh, why is my... 
Weird, I couldn't land for some reason. Yeah, I don't know. If you guys are trying to persuade me that that's not terrible design, yeah, you're gonna lose that battle. I will die on this hill. This could prove dangerous if I'm not careful. I I, I don't care if it's a one shot. <laughs> I think it's terrible design. I mean, it's good to know that there is a way to make them not miserable, but I still say that it's absolutely terrible design. How many more do I need to defeat? Hopefully none, but I do know there's a, at least the challenge I have to do. Akio. Oh, that's Leviosa. Okay. I agree, but to be fair, you didn't have to go to the lair either. Sure, but I, I think it's silly. Like, yeah, sure, I didn't actually need to go there, but the fact that there's enemies that are just that dumb that you can just Let run into. Blah. Disappointing. Why is this not following me? Hello? There it goes. Alright, I don't know. I was being stubborn. <laughs> Is it gonna come down? Akio. There we go. Alright. If you hate them now, you'll despise one of the battle arenas by 100% agree on them sucking. Well, that's the thing. Like, without... Without... The, the specific spells that they have designated are apparently required to deal with them in any reasonable way. You pretty much have to use ancient magic on them and then just slowly... Oh, these things suck. Um, you pretty much have to use ancient magic on them and then, uh, you know, basically waste your time in between. Incendio. Incendio. I keep forgetting, I changed that to an AoE around me. They're meant to be hit with the fendo while hanging by like Yeah, yeah, I, th I think- I feel that some of you aren't quite understanding what I'm saying. I understand that there is a strategy I literally can't use because I don't have those spells. Even with said strategy, I think they are terribly designed enemies. <laughs> I feel like that second part is uh, is being missed by some people. Not to mention, it's just terrible design to have you run into an enemy that you can't effectively deal with if unless you have certain things, which I don't have. That's just horrible. Oh, these balloons. I know this tower. Revelio. I know this tower. And I know this hamlet. What is that, though? Oh, that's just my spell marker, I think. Or, uh, quest marker, I think. You're still seeing me as a scarecrow. Now this tower has that sundial thing on it. Yeah, there it is. Who lived here, I wonder? Oh, I completely missed the balloon. Fail. 
<laughs> Good God, what's on the cliff? You suck! Oh wow, I missed it again. <laughs> oh my God. There That's we go. It. Well, one more set of balloons Rebellion. and I will have that complete. Oh, it's a bandit camp. Let's go fight some bandits. I Ash hope Wonders. Rookwood knows what. what? You Hello! The Sarm and Ashwinder executioners, they prepare their lightning spell. I'm not gonna bother with that. You boys want some of this? Ow. Ooh, he's got some health. Wait, why didn't Levioso work? I don't know. I'm just warming up. Hello, jerk. I'm coming for you, kid. Nope, nope, don't get stuck. Oh, I'm stuck. Nope, nope, get up the stairs. Nope. Oh, crap. Oh, she died from the fall. Nice. Will you hold still? What are you? Oh, I can't jump over that. All right, we'll go this way. Hello. Oh, got me. Oh my god. Expulsion. Oh my god, I saw it. What? Okay. How do I keep avoiding my Levioso? Nice. Yeah, he did, didn't work on him either. What the heck? I don't understand. Oh, okay. Good job, thing, aren't you? Face me in the courtyard. I know you have bombs. Huh? Accio. Alright, so Accio works. Why does somebody else work? You die for that. It's not in the Treadwell's little savior. Expulsion! Confringo! Incendio! Yeah, nothing. Alright, whatever. Give him the magic. Oh, we got more. Hello. <laughs> she shows up, gets snapped. And I haven't even had my tea yet. Slippery as a kill. Explosive. You have got a prayer. Let me He's had all their teaching in school these days. Uh, I need more throwy things. Yeah. Are they some skeletons? Impressive. Or zombies, whatever? Incendio! Let me so many. Akio! That was a mistake! Hang on! Ow! Crap, little help. Oh, he got. Oh, I'm alive! I'm alive! Will you hold still? Oh, I'm dead. All right, Leviosa was failing me miserably. So we're going to swap that out. Rave? <laughs> I'd say we know who to leave at home minding the oven. Let's see. I guess we'll just go with uh, Glacius. Not a huge fan of the spell, but it's better than one that's not working at all. No more. Oh, oh. Oh, my God. 
Could have done my ancient magic on him. Oh, to your knees. I have freaking. Terrible this time. You pay for it. Of it. Oh, how did that miss? Got a lot of help. Yeah, it just finished him off. Bomb! Oh, I tried to block it. That was a bad idea. Oh, it double tapped me! How lame! Couldn't bring us. Couldn't even move yet. Rookwoods don't go down easy. Now you're just getting on my nerves. Throws up completely. That's pretty cool. Ah, yeah, I was doing bad there. That was not well played. All right, so I need to save my ancient magic for those uh, those larger dudes. They have like a billion health too. So I won't go too crazy on these little guys. And I should have accioed uh, the lady out of the tower. I don't know why I didn't do that. All right, so this guy right here, he gets the ancient magic. Yeah, even he even takes it. That's crazy. I have so much health. Alright, let's bring her down. Oh Get over here. Get over here. Do with like five billion health. There we go. Oh, she ran back to her spot. That's funny. Just pull her back down here. Man, that damage is nothing. Why don't you die? Man, look at that combo I got going 82. Crazy. Get down here. Alright, you. Goodbye. Sorry, I got rid of them. Oh, ow. Rude. Oh no, I meant to hit her. Oh. 
Someone's dead. There we go. Yo, done. Akio. Confringo. We good? Or there more? Nope. There you are. Glacius. Dead. Hey, we did it. Thing. Oh wait, more? There's more. Oh hello. Oh. <laughs> oh okay. We did it. Oh, we leveled up. Twenty-two. I love how magic can't break those barriers, but a crate is the true enemy of all adventurers. Uh, the Perhaps not the best place to be caught alone. I will say uh, it does feel like my Revenge. spells in general are actually weaker than the objects I can throw. I feel like throwing objects is the superior strategy in most situations. Tan nightcap. I unlocked the new tier in the talents menu. I should spend some more talents. I've been kind of sitting on a bunch of points. What? Why? Why are you here? Why can't you get in there? No, he wasn't here for long. Revelio. I watched Chuodoa play and he just chucked every object in a room before actually fighting. I mean, it's not a bad idea. And also, you seem to get immunity frames when you toss. Not always, uh, but often. Oh, we got uh, disarming three trait. Oh, is there an enemy over here? Level three lock? But I could just walk around. <laughs> Seems kind of silly. Uh, who's over here? Well, I mean, I may as well say hello. Accio! Incendio! Incendio! Alright, so here's my opinion so far. I feel like, uh, whatever you want to call them... Whoa! Oh, I can blow up campfires? Oh, I didn't know that. share in my victory. So, so here's my opinion so far of the combat. I think there's a lot of fun things that you can do, but I think a part, at least so far, that they've been failing on is that the, like, the people they're using as, like, elite enemies or mini-bosses are just not fun to fight in many situations because they have so much health and most of your spells seem to do nothing to them. So that part of the game I'm really disliking right now. So it changes like the whole complexion of the fights. Like it's really fun to run in and just like toss people around and do like a bunch of crazy spells and deflects and stuff. But then you have these stupid meat shields that you just cannot seem to get rid of that you have to like save your, your ancient magic for to, to even hope to, to deal with. 
Like, you, you saw them. Like, I hit them with ancient magic and they still have, like, half their health left. It's like, oh. Alright. Trouble's brewing and I'm without my friends. They'd be more fun, but they literally are unaffected by every spell except red spells. Well, it depends on which which barrier they have. So that's that's my major criticism so far. Is that you know, every time I fight one of those stronger things, I'm just like, ugh. I don't even want to do it. But it's super fun fighting at like a bunch of the um the regular enemies. Just tossing them around, exploding things on them. The only mini boss enemy I enjoy fighting is the trolls. Uh, I don't have a strong opinion on them yet. The first troll I fought, I just sucked. I was still trying to figure out what to do, and in a large part, I still am. Uh, and then the next troll I fought was in the dark arts arena, where it was way higher level than me, so it like had every right to to be nearly impossible to kill. So I don't I don't really have an opinion on the trolls. And the frogs may as well be mini bosses. I'm gonna complain about the frogs again. They're like all their own mini boss. And I said I was gonna spend some traits. I probably should do that. Because that would help. Alright, so we got the green gingham... Gingham gloves, I guess. And then... We got two new caps. We got that. Oh, well, that's not new. That's a... Interesting hat. Nightcap. I still like mine better, but... I might be able to do something with that. And then we got this runic robe. Eh, it's okay. So even at a crazy high level, the Dark Arts Arena Trolls are really freaking tanky because you're supposed to mind control them so they're going to help you kill everything. Then Avada Kedavra to one-shot them. That's that's uh, basically what I did. Although I will say, the mind control troll, mind controlled troll didn't seem that great. Alright, so I picked up Disarming 3, significantly increased damage with Expelliarmus. I don't know why, but when you mentioned you have some weak enemies, then you have like a very strong enemy. It reminded me of when a Metal Gear 5 TPP. The enemies adapt to how you play. Well, I mean, it's not really adapting. It's just, <laughs> it's just there's a there's a tank in each group, or not in each group, but in a lot of groups, there's like a freaking tank or two, and it's like, oh boy, I get to deal with the tank. Rebellion. I also feel like it doesn't fit the lore in any way. Alright, what is the deal with this? Why is this constantly marked? Is it because of that sundial thing? It's not even marked on the map. It's just marked when I get close. That's weird. I don't know. Oh, and I apparently missed the little field get page over there. Let's go pick that up. My control spell now that I have it unlocked out of the arena is not very good. Yeah, it seems like the enemies kind of go dumb once you mind control them. At least, yeah, you know, I have very little experience with it. But it's, it seems like as soon as you mind control, they're like, oh, I forgot how to fight. Incendium. Oh, that was a little slow. Incendium. Holy crap, that hit me hard. What the heck? Right, I'm just gonna do this. This game keeps surprising me with uh, how quick of reaction times it actually expects of me. I don't know. Maybe I should have expected this, but I just didn't expect this type of intense combat out of Harry Potter. <laughs> and it's still throwing me off. I feel like for some of these enemies, I need like God of War level reaction speed. Ah! Like I just completely failed there. Oh, 
Oh, I tried to block. I zigged when I should have zagged. Ah, fail. Do I have the upgraded dodge talent? Are you talking about the one that uh, relocates you? I, I really don't like that thing so far. I I conceptually thought it would be really cool. Uh, but so far, I'm, I'm not a fan. Every time I use it, I get disoriented and it doesn't quite do what I wanted. Oh my god, see, like, so fast! Oh, okay, well that there was literally nothing I could do there. I was stuck in the animation for uh, parrying and then it hit me. Incendio. That was pretty nice. Oh, I make it. Yay, I did it. You have uncollected rewards. I do. Apparently, I have uncollected rewards. Oh, defeat and parry. Necromantic protection one is what I unlocked. Oh, and apparently, there was more. Uh, doo -doo -doo. Oh. Oh, dark wizards. So we got the dragon height protector's cloak. And we also got the protector's ensemble. Okay, so it's this one. Dragon Hide Protector's Cloak, a cloak fashioned from Dragon Hide for the bravest defenders, earned by defeating Ash Winders and Poachers. Oh man, that kind of works. I'm doing it. I'm doing it. And then, uh, and then we had one here, right? Why am I not seeing it? Is it? No. Oh yeah, this is it. An ensemble for the bravest defenders earned by defeating Ashwinders and Poachers. And maybe, but I think I actually liked it with this better. I'm gonna stick with that. That was Necromantic Protection 1, decreased damage from, or decreased damage taken from Inferi. Oh, what's that? It's not good in combat. Enemies do not respond properly. If you use it to dodge red enemy attacks, they teleport to you and hit you anyways. I despise it. I just use it for the movement speed now. Yeah, I, uh, I, I agree with all of that. I grabbed it, I was so excited, I'm like, oh, that looks awesome, and then, like, the very few times I've used it, I had the same experience. It's like, oh, this is, this is just really not useful. All right, now I was going to look at the talents. Let's look at the talents, because I got a bunch of points. I got, uh, six, well, I guess not a bunch, but I got six. Uh, spells, what's this? Confrengo Mastery, Confrengo Impacts... Produce fiery bolts that seek enemy targets. Oh, yeah, give me that. That sounds great. And what's this? Glacius mastery, striking an enemy frozen by Glacius blast, damaging shards t outward towards the uh, or outward from the target. I'll take that. And then core. Ooh, what's this? 
Perfect, Protego releases a damaging blast that breaks enemy shields. Yes, yes, give me that. Stupefy deals direct damage on impact. Uh, wing dry. I'm gonna save my other two. Oh, uh, was this? I keep thinking these dens or whatever you want to call them are uh, locations like to be explored, but they're just like, hey, go here to kill these things. Yeah, it's an inferior lair. Oops. All right, I gotta pay more attention to that, or else I'm just gonna fight a bunch of enemies I don't need to. Which is fine. It's not the end of the world. I don't need. Revelio. Guess we could check this out. It's pretty close. Oh, never mind. Wasn't as close as I thought. Oh, that's what's going on. I didn't realize this. If you click in the left stick, it auto flies, but then you can't get it to stop unless you click it in again. So I kept running into the situation where I was flying faster than I intended. And I couldn't get it to stop. And that's why. It all makes sense now. Oh, I could repair this bridge. Yeah, I'm gonna be a good Samaritan. Even though there's wizards everywhere that could do it. I will be the one. I will repair this bridge. Repair it. Was that a dragon? No, that was a dragon uh, hedge. A magical dragon hedge bush thing. Revelio. Wait, what's that? A little suspicious, doesn't it? It's just a torch thing, I think. Revelio. Mert lap tentacles. Mert lap ten tentacles are a rare potion ingredient known to raise resistant to s resistance to certain dark charms and contain healing properties. An overdose, however, can cause purple ear hair. <laughs> I don't think that's ear hair. I think that's tentacles growing in your ear. I will pass. Oh, and there's um, there's a puzzle thing I can finally do over here. Revelio. We're gonna do that. Yeah, over here. Oh. And we got some loot in the water. And leech juice. Nom, 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 nom. I don't know if you're supposed to eat it. Or drink it. Alright, where'd that thing go? It was around here. There you are. Hey, Steven. Good to see you. How you been enjoying Hogwarts? I know you've been playing. Oh, Fairy Camp, that could be interesting. We'll see. All right, it wants fire. Confringo. It gets Confringo. No, nope, never mind. Incendio. It gets Incendio. Never mind. I don't like either of those. Confringo. I mean, the only other option. I doubt it would work, but maybe it wants Expelliarmus. Expelliarmus. No, it doesn't know what it wants. Never mind. Here I thought I could do it. Apparently not. Okay, so we are going to return to Madame Kagawa. And she's gonna teach me something. Mm 
Have I been over here? This doesn't look familiar. Revelio. I don't know if I have. Oh, apparently not, because there's a page out here. Oh, and there's a side quest. Okay, well, we're going to do some exploring around the castle then. The Slytherin common room. I bet all of the houses. Accio! Revelio! Ugh, don't get the password. The Yawning Gargoyle. Although this smoke-breathing gargoyle might appear to be enchanted, it is actually the Hufflepuff common room chimney. Uh oh. Wonder what Kagawa thinks of Quidditch being cancelled. So I'm above the Hufflepuff room. I find its location a little untoward myself. Lasser, ha Lasser has to be the richest 15-year-old in Hogwarts. That's right. I'm trying to compete with Harry. It's like, oh sure, you get this huge inheritance. I had to work hard for my money. I had to start my own merchant trade, basically. Revelio. Oh, level one lock. I guess that's also the Hufflepuff common room. It must be. So what, are they living like a hobbit hole? You needed to move the cube first before setting it on fire. You can't move it until you uh, activate it. At least that's how the other ones work. Wait, what was that sound? Revenue. That was that book. Never mind. When did Gandalf arrive? Wrong IP. Abort, abort. Does this actually lead anywhere? Oh, wait. This looks familiar. Is this the dock area? I like living in a hobbit hole. Why does this look so familiar? I don't think I've been over here, though. Alright, whatever. I'm gonna save this for later. Okay, so we can get into the castle there, which I might. My parents visited the school once. All I can say is thank Merlin. Revelio. I've never had difficulties with bouncing balls. Where the heck am I? Oh, I a key. Hey, get back here. Oh no, I lost track of it. Oh, there it is. Alright. First try. Here it comes. Here it comes. First try. Oh, I thought I had it. I thought I had it. Been paralyzed. Yes. Got it. Boom. Pro status. What was that? Two tries? Or was that three? That's how you. That's how you. You slap key. 
best slap key around. Revelio. Only two of fifty. We're making progress. Revelio. Quickest key so far. Might have been. Probably. Accio. Oh wait, not Accio. I want my other spell set. Levioso. Becoming the slap master. I feel like that could have misinterpretations. It's like I can light that on fire with a confringo. Confringo. Oh. Uh. <laughs> uh. Actually. Oh. Okay. I didn't think that would actually work. Oh wait, this is where I came for the key. Oh, and does this just wrap around to that other area I was at before? This is the quad courtyard, okay. I don't know, this goes... Well, this goes all over the place. Oh wait, hold on, have I been here? Is this over the, the harbor? Yay, wait, no. Wait, no, that's different. Oh, one of these keys. Or one of these chests, I think. Mm. <laughs> I like the sound they make. All right, you know what? I'm I'm sold. I'm getting a third spell set. I'm tired of switching around. Oh, and I got new gear. Let's see. That's locked. I gotta go to the room of requirement. And then collections. We got some new fancy places. Okay, so talents, core, I want another spell set. All right, so we're gonna put the lesser used stuff, but still used occasionally stuff here. So let's go with the invisibility. This is this will be all utility. So invisibility. I guess we can put the conjuring stuff in there. And reparo. Am I forgetting anything? All the other stuff I use in combat. So speaking of combat, we basically have two combat loadouts. Leviosa on that one. Let's go, I guess, Confringo. And then, do I have Accio on the other one? I do. Accio seems always useful, though. Yeah, let's keep it like this for now. We'll refine it later. Okay, I do feel like I've been here, but at the same time, potentially not. Oh, no, no, that's that bridge. Okay, I have been here. I do know this area. It's all connected. So then what about the top area? I guess I should check that out. I don't remember where that's spilled out. I just, I'm still blown away, like, I guess I shouldn't be surprised anymore, but just, uh, 
you know, how many people have told me like, oh, the people, the other YouTubers for the most part are just doing the, the, the main quest. And it's like, what? How could you be in these amazing environments and not want to explore? I don't understand. This castle's freaking awesome. I want to see every bit of it. Oh, does this actually just go on the other side of the courtyard? Never mind. I just didn't go over far enough, maybe? Maybe this is connected. I know, right? And they don't even read out the lore of the pages. I mean, I, it, people should enjoy their games however they want. I'm just surprised is all. I I can't, uh, I can't do that. I wouldn't want to do that. Okay, so yeah, I just, oh, that's all connected. Okay. Yeah, I had just gone down to the, the boathouse before. I understand another part of the castle. Dude, one streamer I watched pile drive through the story, then just stopped playing, and it baffles me. <laughs> I mean, to be fair, it is a good way to get views. In general. Like, maybe it differs from game to game, depending on how you play it. But in general, if you want a lot of views and you're popular enough to, to have the audience... 100%ing is not a good way to get views. I'll just, I'll just say it that, <laughs> that way. <laughs> If I was view chasing, I would not be doing this. Oh, did I ever look over here? I don't know if I did. Rebellion. I guess I did. All right, let's go into the castle. So. Oh, it's the Great Hall. So this is how you get here. Oh, and it's another key. Oh, oh, where'd he go? Where'd he go? Ah, crap, I lost sight of him. Oh, there he is. Ha ha ha. All right, my, my slap reputation's on the line. I can't let it be a fluke. Oops, nobody saw that. My slap reputation. Oh, it was so close. Thought I had it. Dang it. Man, that one went really fast. <laughs> oh, well, I lost that bet. Sorry, Miss Shen. I tried my best. I've fallen down to um, slap amateur. I was going to the center. I learned a trick to getting these guys fast, but this is infinitely more entertaining to me. I don't I don't need your tricks, Setsuna. You're talking to the former slap master, I'll have you know. Age has slowed me. But that spark still lives somewhere in my soul. To me, I'll always be the slap master. not random I don't believe you 
I do not believe you. I think you're seeing patterns where there are no patterns. As humans often do. Oh, I thought I had that. <laughs> you are the slap master for eternity in our hearts. That sounded like some Kingdom Hearts dialogue. Oh, I thought I had that one. Well, I got all the keys, so it doesn't matter anymore. I don't have to deal with them ever again. I think I have six left after this one. Hey, Bailey. Welcome to the stream. And I'm glad you found my channel. You couldn't pay me to do this quest again. <laughs> I don't think I've met anyone that likes these keys. <laughs> I don't actually, I don't dislike the keys, but I don't like the keys. I have a, a love-hate relationship with them. It feels so good when you finally manage to get it. But during the process, you're like, I'm going to murder this key. Why did the music just shut off? That was very abrupt. Anybody else wish we could play Gobstones? I want to do all of the things. I want to play Quidditch as well. But Black canceled it. Oh, come on. That one should have been good. That one should have been good. I do like how they they uh, shifted the the hatred to an actual character in the game rather than them. Like, no, it's not that we didn't make Quidditch. It's that Professor Black doesn't allow it. I like that. Got it. Get out of here, Key. That still wasn't that bad. It could have been worse. Oh. I see. It ended abruptly. No, they're still here. I don't know. I don't know why, like, all the chatter just went away. Revelio. First try. That's right. You know how this works. Uh, what is it picking up? Oh, there it is. Owl Lectern. This enchanted lectern serves as the spot from which the great headmistresses and headmasters of Hogwarts, as well as Professor Black, address the school. <laughs> I like that. All oh, those great ones throughout history. A and Black. He gets to use it too. Oh, one of these. I haven't seen one of these in a while. Uh, so somebody said, I saw some comments, which of course called me stupid <laughs> because, because it's YouTube. Uh, I, I heard some comments that the amount of legs are tied to the number and it actually, it's like actually an array for those who know programming. So it, like, I actually originally thought, like, oh, maybe it's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And it is that, apparently, but it's an array. So it starts at zero. So, and not limbs, necessarily, but, like, appendages, I guess. So, like, they don't have any. That's got one. That's got two horns. That's got the three heads. I don't know why that's four. If this is true. That doesn't look like four to me. And then I guess the lizard's five because of the tail, and then... I'm not sure why that would be six. But anyways, if that is true, then we need... Oh, God, how many is that? Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So then we need uh, eight. So we need the spider? 
Spiders have eight legs, right? Yeah, I think so. All right, so we need the spider and the hydra. I'm gonna say spider and hydra. We'll see if it works. Spider and where's the other one? Revelio. Oh, here it is. Okay, so that does seem to be true. Collection updated. We got the house standing banners and fringed crimson clockwork scarf. What are you up to now? I do want to see what's up here. I don't know how I've completely Revelio. like disregarded this portion of the the castle. What is that picking up? I don't know. Expelliarmus. Oh no, that's not what I want. Collect field guide pages. Well, I'm gonna guess the uh, the sound was for the the lock. Revelio. Because that seems reasonable. Okay, so where the heck am I? In terms, in relation to the rest of the the castle. This doesn't look familiar either. Hmm. Revelio. Yeah. Still not sure. House point hourglasses. These large ornate hourglasses containing rubies, diamonds, sapphires, and emeralds are enchanted to keep count of house points for Gryffindor, Hufflepuff, Ravenclaw, and Slytherin, respectively. Oh, that's cool. They don't seem to actually be doing that though. Or, or no, maybe they are. Uh, if they are, there's not much. All right, where the heck am I? Why don't I recognize this area? Oh, this is the bottom of the spiral staircase. I think we always started halfway up. Oh, here we go. Got another of these. All right, so for this one, we need the walrus looking thing and uh, lizard. Walrus and lizard. Revelio. Oh, oh did I just hear a, a key? I did. All right, we'll deal with him in a second. Where's the other one at? They're usually pretty close by. Wait, is it all the way over here? Oh, no, it's a flip line. The faculty tower. What did I hear? Revelio. Hello. Honeyduke's passageway. Hidden behind the statue of a one-eyed witch is a secret passageway from Hogwarts to the cellar at Honeyduke's. It can only be accessed using a particular charm. Oh, is that it? That is it. Okay. How do I... Oh, I heard the key. How do we get down there? Oh, over here. Oh, I already forgot what I needed. I needed a lizard, I think. You Grand can't staircase. imagine how inconvenient travel was before I invented flu powder. Lizard. Or not? Oh wait, no, I don't need lizard, I need uh, fire crab? Wait, why is lizard six then? I need the fire crab thing. Yeah, I don't understand the lizard being six. All right, we got a desk and an unidentified outfit item. 
is purple. Alright, I am hearing that key, but not seeing it. Is it below me? Oh, there we Rebellion. go. The Hogwarts Architect. The Hogwarts Architect, shown here surrounded by the four house mascots, designed and oversaw the construction of Hogwarts Castle alongside founder Rowena Ravenclaw, who is credited with creating its ever-changing floor plan. A Ravenclaw did it. I see. I always knew we were special. How nice to see you, my young friend. Where is that key? Well, let's go into the basement. Revelio. House Elf Recipe Book. Rumored to contain some of Helga Hufflepuff's original creations, this book holds a collection of Hogwarts students' favorite recipes over the centuries. Some dishes, like pickled dirigible plumes, or dirigible plums, are likely an acquired taste. All right, so this is the kitchen. This must be the kitchen. Revelio. What is this? Tickle the pear? <laughs> uh. Don't tell anybody I was tickling the pear. I can't let that information get out. Telling We're everyone, ready. oh no. Please don't. My reputation's on the line. Loosened black and white pinstripe scarf. Apparently the, the elves don't care that I'm eat. Apparently the elves don't care that I'm down here. Like whatever, I'm working. Revelio. Ooh, a new wand handle. We haven't got one of these in quite some time. Oh, may as well look at the new gear I've been picking up too. All right, wand handle. What is this? Saber gray, a sharp gray handle designed featuring a bronze sheath. Ooh, I kind of like that. I don't like that little circle thing, but whatever, I can live with that. I'm gonna keep this. And then we got some new neckwear. We got the fringed crimson clockwork scarf and, oh wait, I'll actually look at it. I got that and that, meh. Redwood wand, of course. Revelio. House elf living quarters, ever practical and creative. The Hogwarts house elves have created a cozy village-like home for themselves among these barrels in the Hogwarts kitchens. Of course, one cannot presume to know what they're really like inside, as house elves have an, have an extraordinary magic of their own. Alright, there's another one over there. Revelio. Is that that I saw one? Oh, it's right here. Kitchen tables. When Hogwarts house elves place prepared food on these tables, it is magically transferred to the tables in the Great Hall directly above. Oh, we got an unidentified legendary item. We might just have to swing by the room of requirement. Revelio. All right. Pear portrait. If 
one tickles the pear in this still life painting of a bowl of fruit, it will giggle before turning into a doorknob to allow entry to the Hogwarts kitchens. That's right, if any of you are hungry, you gotta tickle the pear. Rebellion. I wish they'd stop saying tickle the pear. <laughs> tickle the pear? What? Why don't you want to hear Tickle the Pear, Satsuna? Hufflepuff Barrels. To enter the Hufflepuff Common Room, one must tap the barrel two from the bottom, middle of the second row, in the rhythm of Helga Hufflepuff. An errant tap will result in being denied access and doused in vinegar. Oh. The Hufflepuff entrance is here? I didn't know that Hufflepuff, like, had their common room right next to the kitchen. This is the most cursed statement I've ever heard. Cursed statement? You're talking about Tickle the Pear? Why Why wouldn't you like Tickle the Pear, Setsuna? Off on another adventure. <laughs> Fish chin. She's like, with that, I am gone. Where the heck does this go? It just goes down and down and down. Have I been down here? I don't think I have. Or maybe I have. Where am I? Apparently I've been here because I have the flu flame. I don't remember coming down here. Where the heck am I? Have I really been here? Oh, whoa, that actually kind of spooked me. You are. What do you say, Mr. Five Thousand? <laughs> that kind of stuff is why I love this game. It just feels like the books. Random stuff happening in the castle. Where the heck am I? Okay, well, I found a bathroom. Oh, somebody else studying in a bathroom. Apparently making drawings. Dude, what's up with all the students, like, studying in the bathrooms? This is so odd. The one, like, had a bunch of pastries and stuff in it. Like, what is happening in these bathrooms? Like, do we need to teach hygiene? I know it's the 1800s, but come on. At least it's not food. Well, it has been food. Somebody was, like, eating cake. Uh, okay. <laughs> Once again, what is happening in these bathrooms? Rebellion. Oh, there's actually more here. What is this? Slytherin sink. Scratched into one of the copper taps on the seemingly ordinary sink is the girls, or in the girls' toilets, is a small snake. No one knows what it means. All right, so apparently I'm near the Slytherin common room. That is one strong bidet. <laughs> oh, you think that's the Chamber of Secrets? Yeah, you're right. I forgot about that. It's been so long since I read the books that I can barely remember them, and I never really got too much into the movies, so... I don't have a recent reminder of things. Ah. 
Unidentified face item. Yeah, but also, why are you in the girls' bathroom? Hey, look. Don't judge me, Setsuna. I'm exploring. Incendio. Oh, whoops. I'm so used to that being Lumos. Oh, speaking of Lumos, I don't actually have that equipped anywhere. So I guess I'll still have to do some swapping. Although, I barely ever use Reparo, so let's actually make that Lumos. I think that'll get more. Actually, you know what I barely ever use is the Transfiguration. And especially the the swap one. So let's actually just keep all this. Stuff. Lumos. That is not helpful. Hallway chandeliers torch. I think it's talking about over here. Like around here maybe. Or over here. Ah, here we go. This is it. Some of these ghosts. Do you think I'm impressed? I don't care how many chops it took. Please leave me in peace. Lumos. Come with me, butterfly. Poor ghost got rejected or something. All right, where? I'm trying to get my bearings. All right, what is this? Oh, one of these. Revelio. Yeah, this like entire section of the castle, I apparently just disregarded. Maybe I'll recognize this? Nope, still no idea where I am. All right. I'm gonna save this stuff for a little bit later because I want to go back a little bit. I know that there's a key somewhere. <laughs> like, this all started searching for a key. Said that travel broadens the mind. And then I, you know, did what I normally do when I'm exploring and ended up on like going down multiple rabbit holes. And never finished what I started <laughs> off doing. Okay, I hear that key again. I still don't see it. But I hear it. Wait. Is not one of these? What the heck? Oh, wait, I never... Did I... No, I did this. Oh, I guess it just reverted once I finished. I think that's what happened. Yeah, yeah, it just reverted. Okay, anyways. Um, so I went down there. I keep hearing that freaking key. Ancient okay. secrets bring forth an age of magic. All right, let me go this way, I guess. I don't know where the heck that key is. Like, it's obnoxious. All right, what, what is this way? Now where am I? I don't recognize this either. What's this? Oh, it's a cat. Revelio. All right, that's locked. <laughs> um. Strange. Portrait of Baruffo, Baruffio. <laughs> this portrait depicts the wizard Baruffio, famed for his brain elixir and as an example of what happens when incantations are improperly spoken. He once said, S, 
instead of F and found himself on the floor with a buffalo on his chest. Am I stupid? I'm not understanding this. S instead of F. I'm, I, I must be slow. I don't get it. All right, well, once again, I've gone down a route of exploration. Oh, I know where I am. Thank you kindly oh, for it connects here. Warrior. I do know this area. And I still don't know what to do with these. Unless I freeze it, but that wouldn't make sense. Yeah, I don't know. Those still confuse me. Oh, one of these. Where does this take me? Oh, where am I? Lumos. Save me, Lumos. Lumos. Oh. <laughs> oh. That kind of stuff is so much fun. All right, I forgot I was supposed to go to Madame Kagawa too. See, this is what happens. This is what happens. All right, we're going to go up. Revelio. What is this? Oh, I think I know what this is. Yeah, the fat lady. The fat lady portrait. This portrait guards the Gryffindor common room, requiring a password from any who wish to enter. She and her friend Violet are known to wander among the other portraits, periodically helping themselves to vats of wine therein. I found the Gryffindor common room. So that's where it is. Okay. So I'm gonna go this way. Duncan owes his reputation to you. Wait, why is there a chest over here? Oh. Just lying there. Hey, we can weld. I'll take that. Okay. What's <laughs> that key at? <sighs> that freaking key. Alright, so we've been here. Oh. Oh, we're back here. I see. But wait a minute. Is that, that doesn't seem right. It goes there? Okay. Revelio. Okay, now where am I? This is the flu flame I have. And then, oh wait. Hold on. Oh, this is to the Ravenclaw common room if I'm not mistaken. Hold on. I think, yeah, this is Ravenclaw. Boom. I'm learning. Okay.
Oh, also, um, I think it was uh, Zelda in the comments told me I had missed some pages at the top. Oh, there's the key. Oh, well. <laughs> he just freaking vanished. But if I head down, he might go to that spot. I heard him, I didn't see him. Where'd he go? Did he end up over here? No. You stupid key, where'd you go? Where'd he go? I hear him, he must have went back to his spot. Key? Where are you? There you are. Okay. Oh. Oh, he's going up. Wait. Oh. What? Wait. Wait. Nope. He's going down. Where'd he go? Where'd he go? I lost sight of him. Oh my god. I think he ditched me again. Unless he ended up over here. Oh, there he is. Yay! Okay. We got this. Nothing to worry about. We got this. <laughs> Missed it. That <laughs> first try. I don't know about first try. Ever. I'll be happy with first three tries. Too slow. You have to become one with the key. My entire purpose is to annoy students. This is who I am now. I am the key. I am not one with the key. The way of the key is lost to me. Boom! Ugh! Slap master! I have found the way of the key once more. <laughs> Slaptastic. Alright, I have not been up here in a long time. There might actually be another key up here. Because before I knew what these wardrobe things were, the key things, I was finding them all over the place. And I bet you there's one up here. We'll see. Rebellion. Well, I don't know. I don't know if I ever actually went what all the way to the to top. Now. Okay, so this is the trophy room. I think this is where I was told I missed something. Possibly multiple somethings. Rebellion. Oh, I thought I saw something. Aha! House Elf Armor. This set of armor for a house elf is rumored to have been made by a cruel wizard who wanted his elf to protect him in battle. Happily, the wizard was too dense to realize that armor could, in fact, be considered clothing. The moment the elf donned it, he disappeared. Uh, disapparated right out of it. Never to be seen again. Oh, that's right. If you give your uh, elf, like, clothing or whatever, they're, like, free from servitude. 
it's a Rebellion. it's a pretty messed up lore to be honest. Like there's this like whole enslaved species. Alright, centaur armor. There you go. This unique set of armor was created as a misguided peace offering to a centaur leader. The gift was spurned and the messenger shot through the leg with an arrow. The armor itself, battered with hoof marks, was later recovered and refurbished. Revelio. You can't imagine how incomplete. All right, there seems to be a, something else up here that I keep hearing on my Revelio, but not finding. There it is. I'll always go to the magic meat. Goblet of Fire Casket. The Goblet of Fire rests within this ancient jewel-encrusted chest. The goblet has served as a means of selecting champions for the Triwizard Tournament since the contest's establishment in the late in the late 13th century. I see the goblet of fires in there. Okay. So there was not a key up here, but there was like three lore things I hadn't found, so that was good. I don't remember ever going to the top of this tower. Let's see here. Confringo. I guess I did, but I didn't have the means to, to light that on fire before. Okay. So, I'm gonna go back down to the basement. Did you put your name in the Goblet of Fire? I can't. It's uh, it's in that casket. Okay, that's to the other area. I'm starting to learn the configuration of the castle. You should consider carrying a protection job. Down and down and down we go. Handy resource indeed, your field guide. I'm most pleased. Okay, I can't remember if we actually figured out where this goes, so let's figure this out first. Really like that statue. This. Oh, wait, actually. No, no, we'll do that later. I'm going to the basement. I suspect that I will find the Slytherin common room. Perhaps over here. Now where am I? Oh, is this is this it? No. What is this though? Revelio. Hogwarts crest. The Hogwarts coat of arms includes a lion, snake, eagle, and badger, representing each of the four houses. Along with the school motto, Draco Dormian's non quum titulandus, I'm sure I said wrong. Which means never tickle a sleeping dragon. But do tickle the pair. Oh, we got another key. Oh, I found a side quest. There's the key. Where do you go? There he is. Oh, 
I'm ready. I'm ready. I'm ready. I'm waiting for the opportune moment for the first try slap. No! Too slow. I'm the kind of person to tickle a sleeping dragon. It depends. Are they sitting on a shiny? Boom! Slap master. Slap master. Do you think anyone has found every secret passage in Hogwarts? Levioso. Forty-five or fifty, we're getting there. All right, what the hey, heck is? It's me. Gareth, do you have a moment? Am I gonna get in trouble with you again? Were you calling me, Gareth? I was. After you helped me with that fupa feather and potions, I reckoned you might be just the person I need. You see, I have an idea for a fizzing Wisby inspired beverage, but I'm missing a key ingredient. Can't wait to see what you brew up. Shouldn't you be studying? Eh, I'll encourage him. I can't wait to see what you brew up. You and your concoctions. I don't know how you come up with these things. It's a gift, truly. So, I suspect the key ingredient in fizzing Wisbys is dried billywig stings. I heard there's a store of them in Honeyduke's cellar. I'd get them myself, but my Aunt Matilda has her eye on me. Thinks I need to focus on potions class for a while, not for my own bruise. I was hoping you could follow a secret passage to Honeyduke Cellar and grab a few dried billywig stings for me. Oh, I totally forgot about that. We, we didn't go and check that out. So this was a good reminder. I'd be happy to. It sounds rather untoward. Secret passage? Right up my street. Of course. You never know when you might need a quick means of escape from the castle. Brilliant. Thank you. But you should know that it's not exactly quick. It's the secret bit that's helpful. The passage is hidden behind the statue of a one-eyed witch in the third floor corridor. Just tap it with your wand and say, Descendium. Can't someone buy them for you? Couldn't you have someone buy the dried billywigs things? They're not for sale, and you never know when the cellar's going to be locked. So, the reliable way in and out is through the secret entrance. Isn't this stealing? Are you asking me to steal from a shop? Goodness! It's not as if I'm asking you to rob Gringotts. Honeydukes is more than enough, and I only need a few. It's a sweets ingredient. They won't be missed. Trust me. I'll give it a try. I'll see what I can do, Gareth. Fair enough. You shall be the first one to taste my newest brew if you can be of help. Perhaps I can convince a meat to help me with my potions homework. Get my aunt to loosen her reins a bit. Descending for sweets. I'll need to get those dried billywigs things for Gareth if he's to finish his latest concoction. Okay. So we a one-eyed witch statue shouldn't be too hard to find. It's only a minor crime. Don't worry about it. Exactly. All right. Where the heck am I? Oh. Oh my God. Okay, I'm back here. I didn't. Did I just miss that door before? Or did I plan to come back? I can't remember. All right, so what does this lead to this courtyard, which I don't think I've been to before? Or have I? Wait, I've been to this courtyard. This is above the boat house, right? Yeah, there's the bridge. Okay. It's all coming together. So let me go back down. Oh wait, am I almost full on gear? <laughs> I know I have a legendary unidentified item. I'm getting there, I got four more. Four more slots, so we can do a little bit more exploring before we go to the room requirement. 
Let's see, we got a bunch more locations done. Oh, we passed the halfway point in terms of locations. Oh, there's more? Apparently there's more. What else did I miss? That one. Okay, and then we got that wand handle that we're using now. Apparently there's another? Wait, what's... Now you this. Shell gray? A stunning gray textured handle with a stylish shell at its base? Hold on. I don't think I've seen that. Oh, and I also had some glasses I didn't look at, but they're unidentified. Alright, what's the shell one? Well, I kind of like that. I don't like the colors very much, though. Eh, actually, you know what? I'm gonna go back to this. And now, hmm, I used to actually like the way that looked, but now I don't. My taste has changed, apparently. All right, and there's more in here? Oh, there's an outfit too. Unidentified, okay. Collections, conjurations, we picked up a few things. We got the desk, a grand desk that can be transfigured into several different variations. We got the house standing banners, standing banners displaying the colors and insignia of the four Hogwarts houses. And that's it. Okay. And then we got this quest, Descending for Sweets. Uh, Gareth mentioned the statue of the One-Eyed Witch is in the third floor corridor. Find the statue. Will I complete everything? Of course. Of course. Okay, the Slytherin common room must be down here. That kind of looks like it, but it's locked. That's locked as well. And so is this. All right, well, apparently there's nothing down here. I guess we're going to Honey Dukes. Although, what's this the door? Rebellion. Oh, that was really suspicious for some reason. Uh, well, I guess the best way would be to go up this way. Alright, so that one-eyed witch was over here. Now I want to see what's past it. This looks like the right statue. Now, what was the password? All right, not yet. There's a cat. Oh, Rebellion. Something. Okay, where the heck does this go? Oh, wait, oh, we went this way. Oh, I did go past this. This was the, uh... This was where the Gryffindor common room was. Okay, never mind, I just got... I forgot I went past it. I've been here. Alright. Descendium. Goodness. Who knew this was all down here? Methinks spiders. A lift? Must be how I get down. Looks broken though. Lumos. Oh, never mind. Reparo. I feel like after something like that. That seems to have done the trick. He should be like, ta-da! Take a bow. Something. Oh crap, I forgot. I've got very limited gear slots, but it should be okay for this one quest, hopefully.
I haven't seen much of this game, but is there any amount of multiplayer or co-op? Uh, I don't believe there's any. I believe it's strictly single player. And what's up, Jeremy? Good to see you. This castle will never cease to surprise me. Oh, I called it spiders. I knew it. Or at least spider webs. Silver wooden spectacles. I could go this way, but oh, let me look back here. What do we do with this? I wish I could lift it up. Let me I'm trapped. How am I supposed to get out of here? Well, obviously that way, but what is this way now? Now I'm curious about this way. Maybe not? Oh, is that the way I came in? Oops. I'm dumb. Don't mind me, I'm a dumb. Oh, I see it looped around. Oh, okay, I see, I didn't realize it had looped around. Going to have to get past this. All right, well, we obviously Let me raise that up. But what is over here? Rebellion. Oh, what's all that? Ha ha ha, you thought you could hide the shinies from me. Never gonna happen. Clockwork fedora. Perhaps I'll go back to my fedora, although I love this hat. This hat's hard to replace. One more to go, and I'll make it across. Something is getting in the way of that platform. Maybe I can pull that handle? Accio. No. Hmm. Just thinking that handle, but that doesn't seem to work. Oh, hold on. There we go. That did the trick. This must be the way out. I need to find a way to open that gate. 
Okay, I am running out of gear slots. How many do I have? Let's see. Uh, one. <laughs> this will be the last one I could pick up before I gotta start destroying some stuff. What's this fedora look like? Oh my god. <laughs> and what about these robes? No. Hunter fingerless gloves. Alright, so hopefully uh, that was the last piece of gear. Otherwise, I don't have room for it. Revelio. I say as I find some other chests. Oh, actually, no, it's probably fine. That looks like a regular chest. Something smells sweet. Must be close to honey jukes. Yeah, this is all fine. Oh no, my gear slots are full. I suppose I could get rid of something. There might be a legendary in there. We should dump something. So we'll just go ahead and destroy this. Actually, maybe I have some lower level stuff I can destroy. That won't be as much money. Let's see. That one's... They're all 60. Alright, whatever. Destroy this. Regal school cloak. Revelio. Sometimes it seems all roads lead to Hogsmeade. Honey jukes. Hmm. I can smell the chocolate. Now, well, where would I, I have find to... the dried billywig stings for Gareth? I'd have to uh, drop gear again. Yeah. I don't like the limited gear slots. <laughs> oh well, destroy. At least I'm in Hogsmeade, so that'll be. A... Oh well, I gotta actually identify some items. So I was gonna say I can sell my stuff. One eyed witch passage. Rebellion. There's what I need. What's up with this? Why is this here? It's acting like I can do something with it. Well, alright. I guess that works. Anything back here? No? I have the dried billywigs things. Now, back to Gareth. I can only imagine how his new recipe is going to turn out. Can I just exit up here? I can. Alright. Well, we're in Hogsmeade. The new butterflies were attracted to treasure. I must have missed that one in beasts. Actually, I can just sell everything I have that's not identified, or that is identified. Since I'm here. It's always nice to see a familiar face. Oh, and actually, I can make that focus Let's potion and use it, have, and then I'll be done we? with Sharp's mission, too. That'd be good. All right, sell all this crap. Oh, good. The unidentified stuff is listed. We're not going to sell that. know if there's anything else I can do to help. The Minister of Magic okay. So, Hogwarts map, we want the secret rooms, room of requirement. Just 
Okay, so my flax should be ready, as well as my malice weed, so we can do some more Merlin's trials. That's five of them. And my flux weed stems, so then we can go over here. And we can make a focus potion. Perfect. Alright, so that's gonna take a minute. In the meantime, I will identify my gear. Black rivet gloves. Hmm, maybe it's in the back. Oh, new inventory items? Oh, I know. I've had malice sweet before, though. I haven't had flux weed stems, though. Oh, wait, wait, wait. There's more. And we also picked up the quest item the Billy Wig, Billy Wig Stings. Rumored to be an ingredient in the sweet fizzing Wisbees, the sting of the Billywig causes giddiness and levitation. Uh, okay, so then get yeah. get what? Oh no, it was gloves. Well, let's see what these new goggles are. <laughs> so I've got goggles that I can put on my hat, or I can put them on my face. Okay, and then we've got. These. Ooh, that's a big upgrade. 29 offense plus ancient magic focus one. Increased ancient magic meter fill rate? Heck yeah. Give me those. I don't like the look though, so I'm gonna switch back to the other. Let's go back to this. I like that. Okay. And then. I think we're good. Different houses get different storylines. Uh, I believe they get some different quests. I think the main storyline's the same. Fifteen seconds feels like a lifetime. So, yeah, after I drank that potion, then, uh, I guess I, I mean, I could use it in combat. I kind of just want to finish the quest. So, there we go. We got a focus potion. Actually, while I'm here, I should make some Wigan Weld. Let's make some Wigan Weld. Uh, so let's see if I... Or to use a focus potion, it reduces the drinker's spell cooldowns. That is pretty useful. But I don't want to wait till I'm in combat, so we're just going to use it now. Excellent. Done. We'll have to go back to sharp. And I got a Wigan Weld potion. Let's make one more since I'm here. Oh, that was strange. Uh, okay, so we're gonna go. I think we want the Great Hall. Oh wait, no, we don't want the Great Hall, do we? Yeah, no, we do. How nice to see you, my young friend. Can right, you explain then. why I have received a letter from a muggle claiming to be the mother of a friend of yours asking me to afternoon tea? What did I tell you about making friends with muggle-borns? I am highly affronted. You will not associate with this friend anymore. And if I hear from this woman again, I will see to it myself that you don't. <laughs> I forgot about howlers. Where you send a letter that yells at the person. Revelio. The Great Hall ceiling. The ceiling of the Great Hall has been bewitched to mimic the sky above the castle. Oh, that's pretty cool. Hello again. Were you able to get to Honeydukes? Hello, Gareth. 
I have those dried billywigs things. You got them? Incredible. Here they are. Happy to help. Here you go. This is brilliant. Can't wait to get started. Thank you again. I'll let you know when I brewed my first batch of fizzing whiz beer. Quest complete. Descending for sweets. Oh, one more side quest and then we complete the challenge and we get uh, another reward. And actually there was one area I didn't check out. I think it was... I think it was down here. I don't quite know how it connects, so let me do a little bit of exploring. So I think we want to go... was it this way? Wait. Uh, yeah, yeah, this way. And yeah, it was, then it was up here, and then I ended up on some bridge that I didn't recognize. Oh, and that looks. I thought that was a passageway. See, so yeah, I don't quite know how this connects to the rest of the castle. Where are we? Oh, another key. I don't think I've ever been here. Did I really just find another part of the castle? Alright, well, whatever. We got a key. Where's the key going? Where are you going, key? Up there? Wait. Wait, wait, wait. Aha! He waited so long, I'm like, he's probably gonna move. I'm just gonna slap early. Apparently too early. I thought he was gonna go for it. Commence the slapping. The slappening 2023. It's doing so well with the other keys. This one's throwing me off. Too slow. Too slow. Let's get this fun music in the background. I should have went for that one. I think I would have got it. I, I don't know how many keys I have left, but I feel like there's not that many. Get this. 
little too slow. Hey, Rajesh. Welcome to the stream. I mean, welcome to the slappening. What is this, like our sixth key tonight? We've done a lot of keys. I think I've struggled with this one the most. Ah, oh, again he got me. I will say, the lighting isn't helping. I, f I feel like I have an easier time when I'm doing the keys in the bright lights. Hey, Reverse Colin. Good to see you, man. Oh, I thought he was going center. He tricked me again. Thwarted again. Show me what you got. I think this key is one. He's taken my pride. I'm gonna get the last one on the second try. I got it quick. Oh, yeah, here's that soon. Have a good one. Get him eventually. I will get him eventually. <laughs> Use insect spray, it's quicker. <laughs> If only. I wish I could just Accio him and then just throw him into the keyhole. I feel like that would be a better strategy. Satsuna swears that he knows the secret to the key game. But I think he <laughs> he's just overly confident after finally being done. But I, I have very few keys left. I do know that. I'm getting there. And this has been the worst key tonight, I believe. This one's given us the most problems. And the lighting is not helping. It shouldn't bother me as much as it does, but it does for some reason. I don't know. Or Glacius and freeze the key and grab it. I like that. I like that idea too.
<laughs> I was laying down lurking, then I heard your smack talk. You're not supposed to be here. We all know you're a dirty liar anyway. I would never... I would never believe your key-slapping tactics. My approach has been working just fine until this key. This key, I can't seem to get. This key's being a jerk. Oh, I thought I had it that time. I thought I had it. You dastardly key. Oh, I should have went for that. That was... He actually went across the middle slow there. It kind of threw me off. Actually, I had the same idea, Shinies. I think that would work. What would work? I'm getting close, but I'm just slightly too slow multiple times now. It's easier if you stare at the keyhole. I It doesn't make any difference to me. I've tried both approaches. He just moves really fast. You have to have crazy reaction time. And you gotta have like an idea of when he's gonna cross over, but I can't find any rhyme or reason to it. After a while, I get that itch like, oh, he's gonna do it soon. Come on, Key. I'm gonna get you right here. I'm gonna get you. We must make a sacrifice to the key god. It's the only way to appease the winged demons. <laughs> what what is the uh, what is the appropriate sacrifice to the key god? I I don't know what this key in particular like is just kicking my butt. All the other keys earlier, I I got them pretty easy. This one. This one, for whatever reason, I'm really struggling with. 
And I think, I think, for whatever reason, the lighting is really bothering me. <laughs> Doug Bog Tongue is sacrifice. <laughs> Yes, that seems reasonable, Doug Bog Tongues. I think the appropriate sacrifice would be a door. You just have to kick down any random door. I guess that would kind of make sense. Then the key god would feel... Like it has purpose. Look what you had to do without me. You had to kick this door down. The key god could simply open it. And show you the way, my children. He got me. <laughs> ah! I feel like I want to like switch the time of day just so I get some more light. Not that I think I can do that, but oh, I thought I had that one. Ah, I was ready to celebrate. It's like, oh, I got him. Not so much. What if, uh, one of my reflexes have, <laughs> have gone down due to the length of the stream? Something has changed. I can't get this key. He's either faster than the other ones or I'm slower. I set up camp here under the keyhole. <laughs> I'm gonna pitch a tent. <laughs> He'll get tired eventually. Those wings can't flutter forever. Oh, I thought I had it! No! Yeah, what am I, like, point zero zero three seconds too slow? Well, that one... Was a little bit more off. I wonder what the prefects think when they walk past me. I don't care what they think. I do what I want. I slap keys if I want. Oh, actually, it's starting to lighten up a, a little bit. Well, there you go. See, I just had to wait till morning. This is this is the the trick. Now I can actually see a little bit better. Not much, but a little bit. Got it. See, just give, give me a little bit of light. That's all I need. That's all I need. Just wait till morning. Rebellion. Okay, so where the heck am I? Oh, is this... Wait, is this the library? Yeah. What the heck? I thought I'd taken that staircase before. Or maybe I did, uh, maybe I did the one on top? No, I... I've been that way, I thought. 
Well, now I'm confused. I've definitely been here before. Ah, whatever. Let's go outside and... Oh, wait, not this way. It's the other way. I, I want to go turn in... Well, actually, Sharp's near here. I'm going to go turn in his quest. Uh, what number key was that? Good question. What number key was that? Oh, and I got a new collection? What the heck? I found something in the castle. I don't remember doing that. This. Oh, right. The grand hall ceiling. Oh, wait. There was something else, too. What was that? Oh, conjurations. I got... The Quidditch board. A board displaying various pieces of Quidditch memorabilia. Uh, so that is key number 13. I got three to go. So if I remember correctly, Sharp's class is down here. What are you up to now? Yep. coming along I completed your assignments professor good you should be ready to learn to pulso let's see what you can do concentrate do not let your mind wander. The You've got it now. If you'd like to practice, and I think you should, perhaps best not to go flinging your classmates about the halls. I suggest having a go at the enchanted books here. All right, let's give it a shot. So, Depulso repels many types of objects and enemies with considerable force. Although it deals no direct damage to foes, enemies and objects alike can be launched into each other with destructive results. Also useful for pushing and spinning objects for a variety of purposes. Depulso! Well done. I'm glad to see that you seem staunchly determined to master your spellcasting. Yeah, I don't, I don't know if I'm going to be using this a whole lot. We'll see. All right, so we turn that in. And now we're going to go to Kagawa. Let me mark that quest. Oh, and I still have garlics? Oh, right. I still need to make a mandrake. I got to go to some place called Dogweed and something. I have no idea if that's in Hogsmeade or where the heck that is. You certainly sound like you have a Unrivaled at the next course. Oh, I've been in here. Oh, I can't go in there. Never mind. Welcome back. Have you finished your assignments? Reporting back, Professor. Assignments all finished. Well done. Shows good discipline. Wisdom is a golden snitch, as they say. And you're proving a skilled seeker in that regard. Let us practice our restore momentum. A charm, incidentally, created to stop quaffles from plummeting straight to the ground during a Quidditch match. 
precise, deliberate movements? Resto Momentum slows the motion of enemies and objects. The larger the target, the less effect the spell will have on it. Interesting. Okay. Very good. I recommend practicing your new spell as much as possible. Perhaps before you leave here. Okay. It is here. Arrest the That's it. Keep it up. Oh, and I completed a challenge for doing side quest thingies. Let's see here. Quests. We did this. Complete four assignments. Top of the class ensemble. If we do six more, we get top of the class cloak. Actually, that cloak kind of looked cool, but let's see if this is any good. I'm assuming not. No, not for me. Back to that. Alright, and that also went into collections here. Uh, an ensemble for the brightest students earned by completing professor's assignments. Am I going to learn the curses or not? Uh, I don't know yet. I'm probably not just because I'm kind of making a, a goody two-shoe character. Uh, but we'll see. I do have a Slytherin friend. You never know. He might have some influence on me. Uh, so, yeah. I'm going to... You're saying that dogweed place is in uh, Hogsmeade. So, let's have it, head over to Hogsmeade and I'll see if I can find it and buy that thing. Because I want to get these assignments done. Make a mandrake back at the room of requirement. So, Hogsmeade map. Let's see, it doesn't show up on here, does it? Brood and Peck. Glad Rags. Emporium. The Tree of Broomsticks. The Joke Shop. Steeply and Sons. Hogsmeade Square. Honeydukes. That's Pippin's Potions. That's the Magic Neap. What's this over here? The Old Fool? I don't think I've been there. I have to check that out. I don't know if I... Oh, I've been there. I'm not seeing this other one, though. All the Vanders. Hogshead. Behind the world map icon? Oh. Okay. Well, I'm going to check out that old fool, and then we'll also go to the place. So when you replay the story for the 100%, is there a new game plus? I doubt it. Does it get any more? Because you like would pick a different. Speed. Uh, you would pick a different house and everything, presumably. I don't think there'd be much point in replaying the game if you pick the same house, but that's just my opinion. Uh, let's see. Where is it? Okay, so I keep going this way. Right, so that's Honey Dukes. That's Scriven Shafts. Revelio. I'm not seeing this place. In the northern part of Hogsmeade. There's Dervish and Bangs, there's Glad Rags. You're worrying far too much. Nobody's looking at you. Look at that boy. Why did you buy me a second pair? I hate these Novelty socks. Novelty socks at that price can't be passed up. Be thankful you have socks. I'd rather have no socks than be dancing like this. You're not Money. dancing, you're exercising. Oh, this is Glad Rags. I'm all out of the new socks. See? So and you said the child's come out in the wash, it but it hasn't. hasn't. Someone's so dramatic, just like your father. Anyone who think you had All right, I don't see it. I'm going to go see what that old man thing is since I'm over here, though. I think it's... 
it over there? I'm just trying to park I think that might be it. Yeah, I think this is the place I hadn't been. The old man. Oh, and I see a book over there. Unity oh! Blood will keep you alive. Well, here it is. But at what cost? I found it's it. Good thing we have auras. Was this called the old man? Or did I go somewhere else? Oh, well, apparently it's at the old man. Dogweed and death camp. There we go. Complete the tasks I've given you, and then meet me in my classroom to learn Defindo, the severing charm. It's typically used to cut an object, but can be a powerful weapon when needed. Okay, Sharp's got a new one for me. A crimson top hat. Hmm. Come on inside. Oh, watch yourself, though. Let's have you leave here alive. Oh. Rebellion. Get it away with all those dark wizards. Oh, I can't believe it. Oh, she knows about that. You're a force to be reckoned with, aren't you? Scaring all the goblins away. <laughs> How does she know all the stuff I've been up to? Oh, there it is. I was looking for that. Such a wee bear in a thrashing tail. The dogweed and death cap tree. This large tree with winding... Uh, branches supports the shop dogweed and death cap. Oh, I can't believe it. You followed a wee butterfly to a grand treasury. Lumos. Right. Let's see, that's looking into the town. Oh, I think it's on top of the roof. Hogsmead, here I come. What's this? Yeah, that's <gasps> the rooftop for sure. And then we've got that. Let's see. The pulsa. Oh, whoops. I want the pulsa. I want the Accu. Accu. Lumos. Oh, we got another one of those chests up there. Jeez. Lots of money to be had. Come on inside. Oh, watch yourself, though. Let's have you leave here alive. Ta da! Alright, hello. Hello. Oh, hello. Whew. Sorry I'm in a bit of a tizzy. I was just scolding some of the plants for spitting and nipping. I suppose it's my own fault for putting more than four to a tray. By the way, Beatrice Green is the name, but you may address me as Madam Green. Welcome to Dogweed and Death Cap. Oh, mind you don't knock the mandrakes. Oh, if there wasn't the constant demand for antidotes, I wouldn't need to stock so many of the little deers. Except, of course, for curses. And, well, if you've been petrified, then obviously you've come to the right place. <laughs> Mind you don't knock the mandrakes. Or if there's an uprooting, you'll be the next one to drop dead, and I'm in no mood for a clear-up. Are you saying someone died here? Someone died here? Aye. Fortunate, really, that it was just the one. Now then, how may I help you today? I think I'll just have a look around for now. Very well. Let me know if you see anything you like. <laughs> so casual about it. May I see your wares? What do you have for sale? Well, what say we show you some of what's available? Alright, so she has the Chinese chomping cabbage seed. Mandrake seed. Unlocks the ability to grow mandrakes in small pots. Do it. Oh, I'm always thrilled when a young one makes a wise purchase. I can tell you'll go far. Okay. Doors that is what I need. Open. You be sure to stop by soon. So I gotta make one of those, and then I have to use it in combat, and Professor Garlic's assignment will be done. Sometimes it seems all roads lead to Hogsmeade. Okay, and then up here. 
A chest. Revelio. Okay. I think we're done in here unless Sharp's assignment has me needing to buy something. Let's see. We got a new illustrious cloak. Nope. And the crimson top hat. <laughs> I do have some outfits that would work with that. I don't know if I want to look like that, though. Uh, let's see. Collection got something new. We got these locations. Or that location. And then tools. Mandrake. A magical plant that shrieks when unearthed. Mandrakes can be used to stun and harm enemies in a radius. Mandrake seeds can be purchased at Dogweed and Deathcap, can be grown in pots pots of any size. Alright, and then our quest from Sharp. Professor Sharp wants me to use a Thunderbrew potion against some enemies. He also wants me to test an invisibility potion. I should be able to find potions and recipes at J. Pippin's Potions. My field guide will not guide me through this assignment, but the map could be useful. Alright, so inquire and use invisibility. Acquire and use Thunderbrew. I think I have those recipes, but let me go check. Let's see. Alright, so I don't have any of those potions on me. That's pretty cool. Come on in. Hello. Healing potions are a speciality here, should you need any. Alright, Thunderbrew and Invisibility Potion Recipe. I need them both. So that's a powerful oh, damage potion. Thank and you. we know what Invisibility does. Alright, I have all the potion recipes he has on offer. I hope to see you again. Farewell for now. Okay, back. Oops, wrong button. Oh, well, my collection's updated. Let's see. So, Thunderbrew creates a storm around the drinker, which will stun and damage nearby enemies. We need a shrivel fig fruit. I don't know how to get that. And then the drinker turns invisible, causing enemy enemies to immediately lose sight of them. The drinker is then imperceptible for a period of time. So we need troll bogies. I don't know what shrivel fig fruit is. That might be... um. Some seeds I can buy. Let me go check that magic neat place. Hello, be with you in a bit. Let's see, not grass. Oh, shrivel fig. All right, there we go. Medium pots. Now, well, hopefully that means the largest one. anything well. else I can help you with. No one can say I don't keep a stack shelf. Okay. So, shrivel fig, a hardy plant that produces bulbs used in thunder brew. Shrivel fig seeds can be purchased from the magic neep. Must be grown in medium or large pots. Perfect. Okay. Room of Requirement at the Hogwarts map. <laughs> the spending, it hurts. Why? I got lots of money. Okay, we'll grab more Malice Wheat and Flux Wheat. And then empty this pot. In its place, we are putting a Mandrake, which is going to take 10 minutes. And then here, we want Shrivel Fig, which is 12 minutes. Poor Professor Fig has been waiting for ages at the tower. I actually forgot about that. <laughs> it's kind of funny. Uh, do I need any potions while I'm here? I don't think so. Oh, I guess I... No, I can't make that. I guess I could... Uh... 
Makes a Maxima. And a Duras, actually. And focus. That takes a minute, that takes 30 seconds, I think. Alright, well, I'll, I'll take one of each. Good to have in a pinch. Alright, so... I'm trying to think what we could do for a couple more minutes. There's nowhere I wanted to explore. I don't have enough time for a main mission, so we'll save that for the um, the start of the, the next stream. I'll have these potions at the ready at least. I guess I could go outside and maybe do a Merlin trial or two. That might be a way to finish. Or I, I'm trying to think if there's anywhere in the castle I haven't been. I think I've been everywhere. I'm just gonna take this potion and I'll make I'll make the other one. I think I can come back and collect it anytime, so I'll just start it and I'll collect it when I return. But if I run into any difficult situations, I'll have an Endurus potion of Maxima at the ready. I can look on the map to see where fires and I honestly hate that map. <laughs> I'm not a big fan of the, the Hogwarts map. I think I'm just gonna look around. I don't mind the rest of the map, but the Hogwarts map is just really confusing to me. I'm not a big fan of it. Right. So was there anything up here? It's been a while since I came up here. Revelio. That goes. We got this classroom. How nice to see you, my young friend. Still have a bump in my Revelio. Oh, I found something. It's Paves! Oh. Why is that? Oh, I can light that on fire. Okay. Yeah, I couldn't do that last time I was here, so I can do that at least. Revelio. Uh, how do I get down there again? I forget. Oh, over here. Oh, 47 of 50. We're getting there. You think the random whisper we occasionally hear is the foof, uh, flu flame? I think you're right. Although it's just really distracting. It makes me think there's like some dark secret nearby. Alrighty, well let me just go back to... Just hang out right in front of the room of requirements so I remember where I am. Rebellion. It's a little suspicious, doesn't it? Alright, here we are. So, we'll go ahead and save, and 29% uh, of the challenge is not bad. Alright, so that is going to be it for tonight. Uh, tomorrow night is going to be Death Stranding with uh, Blueberry. Friday, we'll be back here on Hogwarts. Saturday is GTA Online, and then Sunday, we'll be playing Dead Space. Thank you all for coming. Hope you had fun. And I will see you all next time.